No talking, dude. Under the sea. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the show today. We got ourselves a better mermaid than the one that's currently in the theaters, uh, which is, you know, not hard to do. Uh, but uh, <laughs> nevertheless, we're going to promote the, the hell out of this one because, of course, it's from our very own Pixel Trader, the boss. Yeah. Uh, so uh, welcome. Uh, hopefully everybody had themselves a really good week. I know I've just been under showers. Lots of showers, lots of rain, but it is the rainy season, so, you know, go figure. Mm. Uh, but um, uh, until Pixar gets here, he's having a little bit of a domestic. Uh, so, uh, uh, Eric, hi, how you doing? I am, wait, the right Eric, me? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm doing great. Peachy, wonderful. It could not be better. Oh, that's nice to hear. Uh, uh, did you manscape properly today? Is that why you're all fresh and bubbly? Uh, yeah, I shaved my head and my face. That's the only place I shaved today. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I recolored my beard and mustache, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, the only thing I shave is the cheeks and under the chin. Oh, I, do, know, the I do shave under the chin. Yeah. I do, I yeah. do the throat, yeah. Uh, no, no, no throat beard here. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I have to be, uh, uh but I kind of look like that dude who, uh, does the whiskey commercials and he's all, like, suave and shit. I thought you looked more like Jack Black with a beard. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> uh, not a, certainly not at all. Uh, Jack's got. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you what, he's pride of, proud of that gut though, and he has earned it. Let's be fair. Uh, I don't know how that guy can run around, bounce around, be on stage all the time as much as he is, and be as fat as he is. I don't know how that. How do you do that? That takes effort. <laughs> That's easy, cool. Yeah, gotta keep the Maybe. <laughs> I think there's a lot of that going on. Uh, nevertheless, uh, of course, we're going to be getting into this today. Like I said, Pixel's having a little bit of a problem, uh, so uh, hopefully he will join us later. But we are going to be looking at his book, uh, so let me just go over and show that real quick uh, uh, whilst uh, uh, we give it a few minutes here. Uh, but, uh, you know... Uh, we have someone else involved in it now <laughs> as well. Oh, do we? Do we have someone here involved in the project? Is Giggity? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hello, and who are you? <laughs> Damn, that's rude. Wow. 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 <laughs> Holy crap. I'm sorry, let, let me rephrase it. We're uh, starting and, uh, off strong tonight. We are. Uh, so uh, let, let me rephrase that. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I, I am Piper. I'm the writer. Oh, well, that's, that's useful. Well, Technically, one of the co-creators. I think it's a co-project, but mainly I'm writing. <laughs> well, then, then therefore, welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is AR13L, <laughs> or I'm assuming Ariel, uh, the little mermaid. Sweet. Uh, Pixel has a thing for mer 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 mermaids. Would you like to explain this obsession, please? Obsession? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I I don't know if he has. An obsession, but I do know that this book started as a shit post. Is his shit post? <laughs> oh, so it's a continuation of the mermaid. I get it. Okay, uh, but uh, the art looks really good, though. Uh, taking a look at it, uh, we got your Twitter and all stuff here. I'm on the site, by the way. Uh, uh, Fun my comic, uh, and uh, we'll take a little uh, look at that a little bit more later. Uh, but uh, the art looks really good, and uh, why don't you just give us kind of just a quick synopsis, no spoilers, of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what our story is about here. Um, Pixel really did do the elevator pitch, like the best elevator pitch for mm -hmm. a book that I think I've seen. And it is on the on the campaign, but I'll, I'll say it. Uh, damn. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, okay. How yeah. did the yeah, mermaid right? get a villain? Jam. Well, let me see if uh, I can no, find uh, it. No, he wrote, yeah, no, the sanctity of the mermaid kingdom is put at risk when a smuggler loses an illicit shipment off the coast of Argentina in the late 1950s. He wants his weapons back. She wants war. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. So yeah, there's no I, Eric I just, involved? I love it. We have no Eric. Uh, we right do here. not have a... We, <laughs> 
We don't have a point, <laughs> but we do have uh, our version of him is Enrique, the smuggler. The oh, boss. of course it is. Yes, of course it is. Enrique. Diversity. <laughs> All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> So. Well, it is, you know, like, it is happening out of Argentina. It, oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, but, you know, they're, they're more of Germans, but shh, don't tell anybody. Um, uh, oh, so, oh, oh, we know. Yeah, we yeah. know. Now, is Alan here? <laughs> that means Alan wins. Alan's oh. not here. Oh, you guys are lucky, because he's, like, pure Mexican. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, so, Alan's a heck of an artist anyway. Yeah. 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 Huron cut Mexican. <laughs> there uh all right well uh cool uh it's a good looking project yeah no one cares no i know yeah, no I one cares i'm back <laughs> no <laughs> no one cares i'm back well I, i'm wrong but yeah but you're kind of kangaroo mexican all right we'll go with that um, <laughs> was, was is armoron ever been on before who Ar <laughs> armoron is who's that yeah, uh, but you know, it's been forever. well, you know the thing is, we got a lot of people here. We have Floridians, we have Midwesterners, we have freaking California, which you know, pff, I guess we let anybody in. Uh, Californians, we got an Indonesian, uh, we got a person sitting in Britain, and one in Japan. So we're, uh, you know, nice, pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Ask me. <laughs> I have no idea where Jeff is, and nor do I care. <laughs> Probably just as well. Probably just as well. Uh, and uh, I'm not going you to guess. Oh uh, well, that's true. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, it, it is a good looking project. Of course, we're very happy to uh, have uh, uh, you know Pixels Project on here and support him. Now I'm going to go over here to, and hit the like and share. Hopefully, you guys do the same. Uh, help us out a little bit with the um, uh, letting people know because you know YouTube is. Uh, <clears throat> youtube uh but uh yeah. nevertheless uh hit the like share button for us and um uh just to give everyone's uh, notification popping uh but uh i'm going to go here and start in a second uh uh, uh fizzy giggity uh so um anything else you'd like to add whilst i do this um i know there was questions about uh, character designs mm -hmm. and uh, i just got home like just in time so <laughs> Perfect. Um, aside, aside from uh, the ones you see the most, which is uh, the Mermaid and Stabastian. Uh, <laughs> technically, yeah. <laughs> Stabastian. Um, everybody loves him. Uh, outside of that, um, I do not have the sheet for the Sea Witch, but think, uh, think Anglerfish Mermaid. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I would have <clears throat> rather been Sel Selma Hayek from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Dust till Dawn, but, you know, anglerfish it is. Um, you know, being the whole Latin. But thing. she's got two, right? She's got she's got two forms, too, right? So she's oh. got a sexy ish mermaid form, um, but she also has a more scary horror anglerfish looking uh, version. Final form, boss mode. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> uh, so you can you can run with that uh, if you want to tackle her. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, so I do have one question before we kick this off, though. Uh, of course, uh, the show as usual, everybody, you know, it's two hours. Uh, we have no rules particularly. Uh, they can use color. They can do whatever they want. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's pretty standard. But uh, we, we do want to put a, a rating on it. Now, uh, often we do PG-13, but not always. Uh, what is the rating of this book, you would say? Is this an adult or is it more for the teens or what have you? Uh, this this is slightly more adult, but there's not any like uh, hardcore. You know, it's uh, nips are covered for the most part. Well, I did say PG um, thirteen. Yeah, so I mean, so that that should work. Uh, the girls are hot. There's a lot of gore. It's actually launching Arrow's new uh, label, uh, Arrow three G, mm -hmm. uh, which is like their their black label. It's it's their slightly more adult. 
geared co- comics. Uh, so the three G is girls, guns, and gore. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, there you go. PG thirteen. It is. Uh, and keep in mm-hmm. mind that you guys uh, should be drawing along, and you can find that on Fun My Comics, of course. And I, I'm pretty sure Jeff already dropped. He did, of course. Jeff is ahead of the game as usual. <laughs> uh, but go check it out and get some uh, references there. Uh, but it basically uh, Little Mermaid gone. Uh, you know, gone. You know, Chicago. Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not hard to imagine. But, uh, of course, take your drawer alongs, drop them either on the Discord, and we, we of course, welcome the join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, but also, you can go over to Twitter at hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Uh, Therefore, uh, uh, Fizzy giddy, uh, Giggity. Wow, that's a name. I'm going to have to get used to that. Um, you uh, just we call me Piper. <laughs> oh, just Piper? That's a lot easier. Yeah. I was going to yeah, go with you Cat just call Lady. Me Piper. <laughs> Oh no, wolf no, lady. No, 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 wolf lady. Okay, I was close though. Similar. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, what I need you to do, Piper, uh, is we're gonna have to kick this off, and we need you to do the countdown now. Now, this is a professional show. It's very serious. <laughs> Go. Oh, right. I almost peed a little. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, we were gonna let you count down, but Jeff uh, made an executive decision. Okay. Yeah. So I thought she already counted down. No. My bad. No. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, go. All right. Uh, so yeah. of course, like I said, the guys are going to be drawing here for two hours, and at the end, of course, and everyone be- will have a vote. Before you start. Yeah. Before you start, I just want to say, Andrew, there's no furries under the sea. Oh yes, there just are. I, Don't you mess with our furry incarnate. Okay, I'm done. Stop. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think. Oh, it, yeah, right. No, I think technically it would be scalies, although that sounds like a disease. Yeah. Oh. That's... Well, that's what you would call the lizard folk as far as the furry folks go. That's fair. There are scalies. sea dragons. There's oh. sea dragons. There's, And then there's like the, the, the ones that think they're, sh- they're the shark people. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm but yeah, sure. there's sea dragons. So that's some scalies under the sea. But I'm pretty sure the mermaid under, would be considered under catfish. Eh? Yes. Oh, catfish mermaids. Dude. You should do that, Johan. Under catfish. Yes, you should do a catfish <laughs> version. Like yeah, but I don't. But I don't think there are any catfish in the sea. That's I like the way you think, Johan. Species. I think I think they're freshwater. Yeah. No, I definitely think <laughs> you should do a mermaid version with a, a cat a catfish uh, whiskers for mustache, and his name should be Enrique Raúl Miguel Rodríguez. <laughs> I don't know. I've been catfished by a couple Swamp sailors. Man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, here's something I, else I, interesting I, that I might be uh, useful. <laughs> or that might be useful to know. Yes. yes. Well, it's um, good it's that the racism oil. started early. Woo! Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, so, you know. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, we're going to watch the art come through. Andrew's being slow, so I'll go to someone else. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very <laughs> slow at yeah, the moment. Very slow. Uh, I'm Amy's... looking at poses. Thank you very much. Oh, well, you know, I understand. Uh, I've seen, uh, who is it? Amron, I think, was using a software program that allowed him to create poses. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was you, right, Amron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eclipse Studio has it in there. Yeah, I have that available that to me, too. Cool. What are you complaining it. about? <laughs> all right uh, everybody does it well why wouldn't you it's a great idea um uh, Any amy you got use it i'm not sure what amy is doing uh spaceship that's why i'm going with spaceship spaceship i decided yeah. she needs to go on vacation so she's gonna be off of the land and the sea and just go into space that well, sounds like it'll be exciting you could do a crossover dun 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 <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> but it could also be fun. It could be. <laughs> so, no, yeah. Spo- spoiling I... our sequel. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. I do apologize. Not the squeakwool. Yeah. Uh, Amron's being slow, too. Everybody's slow today. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Eric isn't. He's all scritchy scratchy already. And he's going with uh, uh, the Merc Maid uh, already passed. And I'd say she's on to the kiss. Ew. What? What? <laughs> well, that's the plot of Little <laughs> Mermaid. I'm drawing. Well, no. Here, here's the plot. Boy in danger. Girl saves boy. Girl's friends try best to get kiss. Girl gets kiss, then threatened. Movie over. 
Um, there's our axe. So we have after you have not seen the Little Mermaid, have you? I I, I <laughs> do believe I saw it. Well, maybe <laughs> that was ninety one, right? No, yeah. it was eighty nine. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah. Year after you graduated. No, two years 89. after you graduated. I don't know. Yeah, I, no. cool. I I was you know. five. It was the <sighs> first the first movie I saw in a theater. So that was like oh. the Disney movie that I my parents had to watch probably like eight thousand times. <laughs> oh right, all oh, right, yeah. No, I know it was a big hit. It what was oh, I that's... doing in eighty nine? I was at university. Mm, eighty nine. I went to Britain in eighty nine. Wow. Mm. Hey, I feel like I'd have been nine. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to the Gobi Desert the summer of eighty nine. Was that for the Rakilan? It was. And I was a very good mule. I carried things around really good. Um, Didn't you help your father find the Holy Grail, something like that? <laughs> no, no, definitely. Unfortunately, no, that would that would have been that we we failed, but it would have been eighty four. Uh, but um, uh, no, yeah, no, eighty nine was a good year for me actually. Uh, but I don't know if there was a mermaid involved. I think. Call I, me I, Des- yeah. Maybe not. No. Because it's in the desert. No, uh, but I know I've seen it, though. And maybe it was my daughter watched it. Maybe that's that's how I saw it. Uh, it was pretty well done, though. I thought it was good. Yeah, little kids flick. Glenn, Glenn Keane uh, was doing that, heading that one. That's uh, how, how, how could it be bad? Yeah, that was solid. Um, I know that um, I saw a bunch of those uh, Disney things with my kids. The mm-hmm. Lion King one was pretty good. That was excellent. Still, still their best again, one. Again, still one of their best ones. Yeah. Uh, like top three for a lot of people. Aladdin? Actually, I loved yeah. Aladdin. Uh, that was earlier, cool. I think. Um, That's uh, one of my top after, three, too. After the Little Mermaid. If I'm oh, not was it? Mistaken. Oh, I don't know. I, that one's freaking awesome. <laughs> I know I saw that before I had kids. Uh, but it was probably because Robin Williams was in it. And I felt, yeah. you know, I know you're not allowed to feel bad for Will Smith anymore. Uh, but I felt a little bad for the dude because, dude. You ain't you ain't Robin Williams. Dude. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's like, oh no, you don't want to be the person following him. No. He never did. Yeah, no one wants to follow Robin Williams. Well, no. they they said he talked so much, and they just kept uh, running the recorder uh, that he did enough uh, uh, quips and lines for five movies. So you know, <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. You know. yeah, I, yeah. I bet I bet half of it was unusable too. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is it. Written. This is a kid's movie, Robin. And that's when he stopped doing cocaine, imagine. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, he's a comedian, so he can talk uh, one hour. And you, you pay you pay him to talk for one hour mm-hmm. or more. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That is true. Uh getting paid for uh getting paid for speaking is awesome. I know all about it. My entire life is that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, this feels <laughs> blasphemous to me. I'm being forced to draw big boobs. It's not my thing. It's not. No, it's not, man. You're you're a little bit of uh, on the smaller side, boop doo. But I appreciate that. Mm. I appreciate it. Uh, Andrew yeah. should draw a baby seal because they're furry. Oh God! Oh, wow. oh, that, 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 yeah, you should. It's too soon. <laughs> yeah. Back in the eighties, that was such a thing. Everyone was on and on about their clubbing seals. Anyway, I remember that. Yeah. Might have, to see might have be having a good time clubbing. Yeah. Uh, but, really uh, I remember uh, in the movie they said blame Canada for it. Well, let's just sure. It's, a, it's always Canada's fault. Uh, our stupid it, was, it, was, it was a real advert. It was weird. Well, you know, Canada <laughs> is America's brain freeze. So let's, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, but you remember back when activists cared about, like, say, trees? Oh, crap, I'm not sharing mm-hmm. this yeah, one. they don't care oh, about the trees that... anymore. Yeah. Oh, really? No, because they're 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 save the plastic now. They've changed. <laughs> save the plastic. Save the plastic. <laughs> yeah. It almost sounds no. like planet. Well, I mean, but 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 it's true, right? It is true. It's all about save the plastic now. Yeah, it's all about like straws, mm-hmm. um, bags, the little oils. Plastic bags. They love the oil. They keep going. They keep porting it everywhere and throwing other, you know, uh, uh, pharmaceutical products here, or there, into fountains, onto paintings. You know, yeah. yeah. Save the plastic. Big yeah. New generation. I blame Andrew. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. 
get your generation in, 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 in line. So someday, someday you'll forgive me. Mm. You'd be so, you'd be shocked at how much I do I don't uh, identify with my own generation. Well, you'd be a millennial, I think, right? I I am I am counted as a millennial. That is yeah. correct. <gasps> oh my god! Sorry. I, uh, <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> well, no, I think technically both my kids would be considered millennials too. They are. That is correct. But it's okay. Don't worry. I have a work ethic. I have a part-time oh. job and everything. Well, I beat it into them. So. so we'll consider Literally. you an honorary uh, Gen Xer. I, I, yeah, I'm very get off my lawn when it comes to a lot of stuff. So oh, nice. I could even be Boomer if I wanted to. <laughs> I saw, a, um, uh, I actually saw a, a, some meme and it was uh, some thing, was it Clint Eastwood or something like that? Someone, uh, no, it wasn't Clint Eastwood. It was someone was actually doing a meme uh, of a get off my lawn. Who was that, dude? It was funny. Was it like uh, Tommy Lee Jones or? Yeah. I can't remember. It was like a decade, yeah, less than a decade ago. It was funny, though. Explain the meme to us. It'll be very funny that way. Well, he's literally I standing he... on his lawn. Is a bunch of dumb kids doing dumb things, and he's just uh, uh, cussing at them in, in, in a in a comedic way. And then he starts. It shooting. Sounds like Clint Eastwood in um, uh, what's that movie called? Uh, Grant 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 Torino. Yeah, but it wasn't though. It was a spoof of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a meme. It was oh, actually hi. a meme. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized that I had my microphone muted. <laughs> oh, no. oh, that's okay. We just started, and I, I and that's I don't shut up anyway. So, you know. Yeah, um, I was listening. It's just that I was replying <laughs> to to some of it, and then I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw my oh. microphone. And apparently, I hit the button. <laughs> don't worry, it happens to me all the time. Bad <laughs> Chester. I was like, all right, fine tales. then. Nobody has to. Nobody has to acknowledge what I'm saying. It's fine. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> I'm just the writer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I'm enjoying me some Gabby right now anyway. Thank you. No, oh, you're welcome. That so didn't sound right. <laughs> nope. Actually, well, she always does I, traditional. I enjoy watching her. Uh, her I mean, because that's one of the things that people like me like about the show is we get to see the art come alive. Uh, and, uh, you know, you guys do digital, which is fine. You create all amazing things, but it's kind of cool seeing the hand do it, you know? You know, you yeah. told me you told me the prime reason why you're on the show was to harass Eric. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would call that <laughs> secondary or maybe but even the tertiary. Next reason is... Yeah. You said that was the prime reason. No, what everybody I doesn't lied. know is Chester was my bully in school. I he, was. He found me later <laughs> later on in life just to continue the bullying. It's true. It is true. Yeah. It wasn't it's to like apologize. After... It was to just keep it going. Yeah, it's true. No. It's like an after school movie. That's Hello, McFly. Yeah, I did some deep think... lore. Yeah, well, I didn't get bullied in high school. I wonder why. Hmm. Probably because you, you were, were seven feet bully. by the time you were twelve. That's maybe had something to do with it. Yeah, it yeah. could be. Yeah. I'm yeah. about to walk because I'm a third your size and I didn't get picked either. Well, <laughs> well, uh, I didn't say I got picked. Uh, Al was in a gang though, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Help him. There's like twenty-seven little guys like me all together. Oh, did you hear? <laughs> did you hear? You're all in a uh, coat. You're all in a trench coat. Alan, yeah, we're we're, trench coat. <laughs> Alan, you're responsible for Enrique uh, uh, Ra Raul Miguel Rodriguez. That's your job today. Enrique, <laughs> Ra what the? What? This is Little Mermaid set in Argentina. Oh, gotcha. want you to draw Rico Suave. Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> yes. Suave. Suave. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already drawing Suave boobs. Is that enough? Ooh, I'd say, yeah, sure. Sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. What's Honey doing? Let's check it out. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Um, this is uh, maybe Eric uh, is down, and uh, the, the, and she's trying to resuscitate him, maybe? I don't know. Stop oh, saying dude. Eric. It's confusing me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I was confused by that one, too. Like, <laughs> down? In Enrique, yeah. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing Stabastian. Oh, as you should. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing some like. Oh, there he is! I see him. Oh, I see. I'll be doing, like, it looks like. And 
it looked like a mummy at first until you drew that line. I thought you had a person lying down there. Okay, <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Oh, I gotta get that. I should have drawn that line first. <laughs> Draw that one and put the rest of the picture around it. Yes. Now, who okay. came up? Who who gets credit for step uh, Who gets that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, all of us, I think, collectively freaking said we had to have him at the same time. Is is that <laughs> modesty I hear? <laughs> uh, well, he's based on the. There was for a while a few videos going around um, where uh, people were filming like crabs that they had brought home to cook, but like the crabs were holding like kitchen knives. <laughs> <laughs> and like running at them menacingly with the kitchen knives and there was a few videos like this so um we were like we need a a, a knife wielding crab and he kind of evolved from there uh as a uh he's a he's a grizzled he's like a grizzled war vet in the fact that he has seen some shit he's been to his share of sushi restaurants and escaped oh wow uh, fair enough um and, and a, one of his claws got broken, so it's a kitchen knife, but it's sh- sh- taped to his broken claw. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that's perfect. And then I was like, yeah, Stab Ashton. I can't remember which one said the name first. I really can't. But but here's the really <laughs> important question. Is it better than Aquafina? Oh. Like the yes. water? Shh, shh. Let it, let it rest. <laughs> As Aquafina would say, I'm an actress. <laughs> Batman, eh? Batman voice. Screaming is it, a joke. It is. It was. I wasn't even. That was actually Screaming a perfect humor. impression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. She. It, it, sometimes she misses really bad, then sometimes she just misses. So, you know. Um. <laughs> But but no, because I saw her in Renfield and I loved it. The only thing it sucked in it was her, and she actually did best I've seen her do. But uh, I, one of the problems she has, uh, aside from her mind, and which is very hateful and toxic, uh, beyond that, uh, well, the problem she has is her face doesn't move. It's like she has no <laughs> face like a, muscles. Her face she's is a frozen. modern uh, Whoopi Goldberg, in my opinion. I, guess. I feel like so. that's an Asian problem, though. Oh, go, okay, fine. Oh. Just mock the entire <laughs> half of my children's uh, uh, lineage. Thanks. Well, I'm talking about my myself too, I mean, because she, we... yeah, she can say that too. Yes, she can. Oh, damn it! All right, go ahead. Well, <laughs> half of the half of their face muscles mark. Yeah. Work. Is that, I mean, that <laughs> <laughs> now I understand that uh, Asians do have a, a flatter, tighter face, which is why they age so well. Uh, but um, it, she's an extreme extreme case, though. Uh, for instance, the other girl in the uh, movie Renfield, who was her sister, it would I would have flip flopped them if I was the director. I would because she would she's much more emotive and she would have been a better in that position. Uh, but um, yeah, I you know all all of her nonsense because the problem with Aquafina is she's just a, a horribly toxic human being. That's her problem. Uh, but um, well. yeah, Kenzie. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. If you ever heard, is she book. like, is she like all caught up in like the identity politics? Oh, heavily stuff? so. That's how she got chosen. Oh, she was a YouTuber. Yeah. She was a YouTuber that did all, all the man hating oh. stuff, uh, and she got uh, she got uh, paid for it because that's that's how you get paid these days. Oh right. Speaking of which, Happy Pride Month, everybody. When are we going to change our logo to rainbow stuff? Never. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gotta. Oh yeah, next week let's do LGBTQ two RST. XYZ. LMNOP. I think it starts with a two. A A R P. I think it starts. Uh, I think the gays and the lesbians have put, been pushed to the back. I miss. Yeah. I miss when they did the full acronym and it had BRAP at the end. <laughs> it was <laughs> so one? funny. It was my favorite. It had B R A A P at the end of like the full acronym, and I was like, yes, L G B T Q BRAP. <laughs> you know, we could. We could shorten this and help them out a little bit. We could just say <clears throat> other. Yeah, and, and like et cetera. Uh, <laughs> et cetera. Other is to other somebody is a very bad thing, Chester. Yeah, and you true. should be ashamed that you just said that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I don't really have shame, but. Yeah. Here, I thought we we're going to draw mm-hmm. Frankenfurter next week. Ooh. I know there's a joke there somewhere. I'm just waiting. 
I dig the it's hair. Frank and Furter from Rock uh, right Rocky Horror Picture Show. Tim Curry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that, oh, okay. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know, uh, I absolutely adored that. I used to go to the uh, uh, the the cosplay events. You know, watch the movie. No one watched the movie. We just sang and uh-huh. made made asses of ourselves. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I absolutely loved the movie. And I when my when my son was old enough, uh, I showed it to him, and he looked at me sideways. <laughs> yeah, he's he's way he's far more strict and conservative than I am. I don't know Dad, what. Dad, are you a gay? <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's funny though. I mean, uh, the the thing though, Tim Curry's entrance, in, in, Frankenfurter's entrance in that movie is one of the best of okay. all time, dude. It is yeah, one of the best movie. of all time, dude. Uh, the... It has been a while since we did Tim Curry. We, we should do another Tim Curry night. Yeah, he's quick question. Epic. Quick question. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Rocky Horror Picker Picker Show Picture <laughs> Show, mm-hmm. um, oh, have definitely. you heard Have you heard of Phantom of the Paradise? Uh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's got that. It's got that little blonde guy in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Will it Williams? Something Williams. Williams. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I just had to confirm that other people knew about this film because I, people look at me sideways when I bring it up. They're like, "Huh?" No, it's great. Yeah, you know the the guy, the Williams guy. He was a major, major songwriter in the seventies. Yeah, my it dad knew me. he was. You don't know who he was, he, and he's great. He's funny. He's a good actor. He's a great singer, actually, killer singer. Um, but uh, you know the thing that's sad about all this this uh, reminiscing and nostalgia. That's Paul on Williams. Here. Paul Williams. Paul there Williams. It is, yeah. Uh, the, uh, all the reminiscing, though, Jeff, is the fact that you know gays used to have a sense of humor. What happened? Um, yeah. I think they still kind of do. Yeah, they still do. do. It's, it's just it's just the loud ones are not the funny are not ones. Funny. And it's not really the gays. It's um, it's the white. Activists that are straight, yeah, it's that it's, it's trouble. Yeah, it, well, it's yeah. not it's not that I think everything's been overrun with activism, and it's it's not it's not it's it's be, it's using it's using groups for a separate agenda is oh, yeah. what it yeah. comes down. How dare you? I got gay friends. <laughs> They're funny as hell, and a lot of them don't are not down with the agenda. No, I bet you they're yeah. not. I, I I haven't been in America in a long time, but because uh, over here, I'm they they have them, but they all escape to a kabuki cho. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, or like um, in Thailand too, we've got a lot of like lady boys, and um, I mean, they're they're like openly a part of like our society, and so I just don't. I don't it's know. They're just like really different. chill. It's just so yeah. different. Yeah. What happens but, in Thailand stays in Thailand, okay? No. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, no. She's right. But that's what Chester told us. The thing in Thailand, well, yeah, though, yeah. is it's completely hey, incorporated culture, right? There are no activism. There is no issue. Uh, it, it's different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is different. Really and be, there wouldn't really be an issue here either if they didn't decide that it needed to be an issue and they needed it. True. Special treatment, like <laughs> it's almost like it's, a, it's have election the same year. Treatment as everybody else. <laughs> yeah, gay people are uh, borderline asking for reparations. Yeah. Well, they yeah they are, and California's given them so. so yeah. Them. Go to everybody. Go to California. That's a plan. That would be great. Let's send them all yeah, to I, California I, so they yeah. can live with Alan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Him up. Go to Target, and guys. Then, and then uh, pull a Bugs Bunny and saw California off of the rest of the continent mm-hmm. and push it into no. the ocean. Oh, I thought you meant dressed like you a Lex woman. Luthor? You're trying like to get like uh, a beachfront property? Yeah. Otisville? <laughs> you know, Otisville? Um, on, on the side, Omron, I'm loving the face you have going on here, dude. Yeah. I'm fighting contr- with for control of my clip studio. It's been playing up weird lately. You're not the first person yeah. to say that. Uh, did they yeah, have an update it, or something? There was an update and things oh. are not good. Yeah. Mine, uh, mine, hasn't, mine, hasn't, mine hasn't been bothering me, though. Like Mine's been perfectly fine. Wait, have you paid for the special? Hey. Well, good you... for you. 
to just pay for the whatever the crap they did that you have to pay for now, or did you buy the, the one license? Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of yeah the one time um, version two update. So, so I bought the one time. I don't know what to do with this I arm. Can't remember what, and then uh, <laughs> and mine started kind of bothering me when they released the uh, their latest whatever. <laughs> well, looks like we have a Tartarian in the chat. You go, dreaded dinosaur. Oh, he's hey, famous. that's that's Eric. Yeah, that's Eric. That's uh, the artist on the book. Oh, well, why isn't he in here? I know, right? Yeah. <sighs> hmm. uh, but, um, of course, you're just going through the art here. We're getting a lot of really cool stuff starting out. Um, uh, yeah, we only have one traditional today. Just Gabby. Gabby, Gabby, because I'm special. Let's get her sketchbook out. <clears throat> All that. She's got struggling her... with my table though. Your table is. Did your table? Did your table just get an no, update? No. Did, you, did you just update your table? Did you pay for the one-time no. license? It's one of those things where I have to draw around my phone. It's like hovering over my book, and then my I'm like short, so my I have to stand, and it's just a nightmare. Oh, oh. it's actually not a nightmare. It's just a challenge. You know. Uh, over here, I don't know how it is in uh, 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 you know, where you come from, but um, uh, here in Japan, so there's a lot of short girls. I mean, it's an epidemic. Well, um, yeah. And um, uh, <laughs> uh, but but no, they <laughs> they don't like it. They really don't like being short. It it irks them. And I'm in my head. It's always like you know, well, guys like short girls though. It's true. So being short um, that, irks that me plus? sometimes. But then, it, but then I remind myself that that's okay. That means I'm cute. That's <laughs> right. It means you're cute. It's like bonus points. Yeah, we're not looking for Cylons. Yeah, no. Also it's just... means that I have to like climb shelves at the store, like among the <laughs> <laughs> Find a man who can like... reach for you. That's right. I, oh. I just refuse. I refuse to ask people. I'm too like nervous or shy or whatever. Like. <laughs> in person so i won't ask anybody so but man sometimes i'm climbing up there and there was one time a dude was in like a, a wheelchair cart thing and he i'm climbing on a shelf and he stood up and got the thing Jeez. i felt so bad for, for shame oh my lord he stood That's up so and he was like he, he was like here you go and i'm like this dude just got out of a wheelchair to get this for me Wow. <laughs> Usually, if you can make your way over to, like, the section where they keep the brooms or the mops, you can get, like, something kind of tall and then I grab really it off the tough shelf. Knock back. stuff off the tough shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit of a say, hey, I don't want this things. anymore. It gets it gets the exercise to, to climb the thing. <laughs> yeah, but see, there 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 is an opposite to this, though. Uh, uh, because I always get elected to get the tall thing. <laughs> well, that's weird. I wonder why that is. Yeah. And then they all always marvel at it. Like here in Japan, they have these super high tall ceilings, and they put like uh, storage cabinets up really high. Um, and uh, you know that where none why? of them can if, reach. If, I know. I was about to say, if yeah. they're short, then why? Yeah, do they I didn't do want that? to be racist though. But um, oh. uh, but uh, all always they'll they'll hand something to me and say, "Can you put this away?" And I just kind of open the door and put it up, and then they're all like, "They just want to see you do it." Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> right. So they're all like Tim Allen. They're living vicariously through uh -huh. me. <laughs> uh -huh. They sing the Mothra song to summon you. Mothra, <laughs> Mothra, maybe. Secretly behind my back. Yeah, Paul won't oh drunk goodness. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> well, I know the old ladies like to touch my butt. I don't know what that's about. Oh, well, yes, you know what it's about. You just had to Dang. bring that one up all on your own, didn't you? Well, <laughs> I mean, it is a true fact. It is true fact. 
It's odd. Hey, just let just let me throw this out there. The old ladies like to touch my butt. They do. <laughs> and they he fly me with like crackers, seafood, hour. and oranges. It's just that you, 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 one night. you bring it up every show. It's yeah. like, what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry. Trauma. It's trauma. It's trauma. <laughs> it's trauma. Uh, yes, sir, if you got something to share, you need to get off your chest. We're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel assaulted. And he goes to the bathroom, the toilet tells him how many women touch his butt. It, it, oh, it's no. right. it does keep count. <laughs> It is Maybe true. Maybe she should have a work with them. No, I, it, it only happened like three or four times. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this week. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's honestly, it's better though than being like the five year old little boy who like goes to the community function and your, you know, your five year old little boy is like a little bit too chubby. Mm. And so then all the old ladies are rubbing his belly. Yeah. Yeah, Asians. Yeah, I, 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 I like twelve, thirteen years ago, I was heavy, and uh, uh, before I lost all my weight, and I used to the old ladies would literally shuffle almost as as if floating across the floor <laughs> to come and rub my belly. Yeah, it's true. Oh. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, but it's you know it's Asia. You know you know what I get a lot. My, I mean I joke about the butt thing because it's funny. But what I get a lot is them you know uh, uh, touching and grabbing my arms. Right. Hmm. Oh. Well, because my arms are like as big as their legs. Oh. They're always squeezing my muscles. <laughs> it's okay to just. Okay. It's weird it's though okay. because Japanese are not a touchy people. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think so. You are when you're a guy, Gene. I guess I'm just. Uh, well, I'm. Well, I have no rights. I'm an object. <laughs> I'm just an I object. <laughs> You're a circus freak. I am. I to them I am. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, although son. it's been a it's been a bit since someone has called me Gulliver though. Oh. When I first <laughs> came here, it was it was a pretty common one. That, that one's gone away. It looks. It seems like. Just <laughs> insane. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's most of what they call. I mean, uh, how is it down in, in Thailand? How, how do they do? Because here, it's not just me. Any teacher here is usually just referred to as sensei, right? Uh, I rarely <laughs> hear my name, and it's the same for any other teacher, right? It's not unique. Uh, but uh, that's what, just what they do. So if you're a teacher, you're sensei. Uh, how, what does Thailand do in that regard? Um, if you're a teacher, they also call you, like, we, we say ajan. So, like, we do call them teacher as well. Um like if they get to know you, they'll call you Kun. Like, like for for my dad, his name is Bruce, so he would be Kun Bruce. Um, oh, that's interesting. So they they oh. they're so we do have honorifics in a sense. Like it's like after they get to know you, then they'll refer to you like how they normally would with other people in our culture. Um, but like if you're just a foreigner, they they kind of like <laughs> it depends on the person if. You're a more extroverted Thai. They'll try like initiate a conversation like, "Hey, welcome," and like try to get to know you. Like, "What's your name?" and then all that stuff. Um, but uh, if they don't really know you, I heard it. I heard it. That was sexy. <laughs> and hey, go ahead. But um, <laughs> but if uh, if like you're just a foreigner who's like just clearly a tourist and just like being like maybe not being the most polite. They're like, man, this for wrong guy is like uh, not with it. <laughs> yeah. Or they're like, it's too bad he can't speak Thai. And so like those like sometimes like passive aggressively talk behind um a, a foreigner's back if they don't speak Thai or think that you don't speak Thai. I mean that's normal <laughs> anywhere. I'm not saying that's yeah. only Thai people. Sure. It's like, oh yeah, look at that guy. Oh no. So they, it's like do it here too. Yeah. Yeah, so they're very polite. If they yeah, they're generally very polite. No, I, 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 like I said, I've been to Thailand. Uh, had my honeymoon there. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, nice. great food. Nice, very nice people. Very kind. I like Thailand. It's a beautiful place too. I want to go back and have me a visit. Yeah, the country's opened up again. Yeah, no, I heard. Maybe Thank God. It's closed for a long today. time. Actually, I rather preferred the uh, 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 down uh, Phuket, Pattaya. I like that area better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Bangkok was just kind of a city. Although it had there was lots of really good international food, though. Uh, I my first churrasco I ever went to in my life was in Bangkok. Mm. Yeah, it was good. Churrasco. It's that Brazilian that? meat meat oh. house type of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, they give you that's meat on the sword. They do, man. It's oh, awesome. that's cool. It's very cool. <laughs> And you have a little a little button or a little disc or something, and they keep bringing the meat until you turn it over. Please stop. Yeah, exactly. Please stop. Oh, wow. Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I've gone, yeah, I've gone many times since, but the, my first experience was in Bangkok. So. Very cool. I wonder if you got to eat more than most people who go there. I actually don't like eat a lot. I, I'm not a person who can eat a lot at one setting. Uh, my uh, oh. my family eats more than I do. Oh, and they're all skinny, goodness, easily skinny. <laughs> I have to work yeah. Yeah. This picture's going hard. <laughs> Which picture? <laughs> she's tied up. <laughs> One where she's tied up. Who's doing that? That must be Eric. <laughs> Step, Step away from a second, and this is what I get. <laughs> and then there's a monkey taking the picture. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what, what? Who's the? What, which one are you looking at? <laughs> Might be Johan. Yeah, oh, yeah, Johan. Yeah. yeah, looks yeah. great. Oh, right, right. You got, you got. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Oh, we get, we go. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. The monkey is taking a picture. That's true. <laughs> is that Enrique? It's actually uh, Prince Ali. Ali, Prince Ali, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, oh I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a low blow, Johan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Napu. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. I see. I see the lamp. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I think there's a little bit of uh, subconscious angst going on over here. <laughs> oh, oh, crossover, yeah, yeah, it's a crossover. Uh, awesome. Uh, well, uh, one thing I did, I forgot to get coffee, so I'm going to go get coffee early. Uh, Jeff, would you like to be the boss for you know a little bit? I guess that was haram. <laughs> yeah, well, it, that's going to go for a while. Enjoy, Jeff. Uh -oh. Okay. Jeff in charge. I can't Yay, do Jeff. anything anyway, so you know. Jeff, Jeff. It's boss, be, uh, boss and name only. B I N O. I'm, I'm a bino. <laughs> You're an albino? Oh my gosh, Jeff. That wouldn't be gender? the first time. Oh, yes. Be very careful when someone comes around. Gender 37.23. <laughs> Subsection P. <laughs> oh, um, about. Sorry, is she called Ariel, or is that not how her name's pronounced? So, in the book, her name is actually Coral, so that Coral? we don't get in trouble. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get a beat on her hair. I can tell it's it's pretty long. Um, does she have it braided a particular way, or is parted a particular way, or is it just kind of up to the individual artist's interpretation? Because, you know, animation model sheets can be really strict, but comics tend to be uh, allow for more creativity, or... Sometimes it changes throughout the series, so just thought I'd... Uh, it is a lot, a lot like the uh, Disney version, only when it's wet, it actually looks wet, like, up out of the water. <laughs> Instead of the Disney version. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but other than that, she kind of has that bang going on, just not as exaggerated. Right. Okay. That makes uh, sense. But pretty much so just left up to interpretation. Long and fire engine red is pretty much it. <laughs> yep. Really, really red. <laughs> but yeah, Ariel the AR-13L is actually uh, the name of a gun that is featured in it. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's named after the weapon. Gun. Yeah. Oh, uh, I hope made-up guns are all right, because I did not have the reference or time oh, to do Oh, yeah, job. no, because it, it, yeah, other guns are featured in the book and stuff, too. So it's, it's right. like, any weapon in her hand would make sense. <laughs> okay. Oh, Yay. phew. I'm terrible at drawing guns. Me too. Don't well, worry about it. Yeah. Me too. She's got a whole 
E3. <laughs> Why can't animals draw guns? I'll stop so, Eric. <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy in college could draw guns really well. It, it was it, it was annoying. <laughs> There's some people that have a knack for like drawing like. cars. And yeah, stuff. like the hard surface, like yeah. nothing hard surface. Oh. I mean, you see some people that are like that, and I'm like, wow. I mean. I kind of hope maybe they have to practice a little, but on some level, I suspect that's just a magic ability to be able to draw again. I'll stuff. bet they or don't have to practice just, just to annoy me. Just to annoy me. Just like, point <laughs> there. Oh, man. There, I'm awesome. To anyone who can draw a Transformer. Oh, yeah. Transformers are fun. Yeah? They're fun. I started off drawing Transformers. Okay. I certainly like the idea mm. of them, but I think I tried drawing one once. And I just kind of like, oh, despair. Oh, I did a drawing of a Gundam once. That worked out. Hmm. Maybe I'm just too hung up on the details. Or All maybe my robots are still organic in figure. Hmm? Like All my robots are still organic in figure. Oh, yeah. It's, that's yeah, kind I'm of a fun better. design, too. Yeah. It is a design I'm choice, yes. At, at drawing organic things than like mechanical things which sucks when i want to like do sci-fi so much but i could draw fantasy yeah. better like i could even draw like bladed weapons better i can't draw guns very good <laughs> you know in like Maybe clip studio the, and stuff uh, okay. uh, that's uh, i think it that's maybe intended. needed some fascination to the guns itself i think if you don't like guns maybe you you're not uh, so keen on drawing it. It's but, true. I mean, I fully, I shoot them. Yeah. I just not good. Oh at yeah, no, them. I love shooting them. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say I have, I have two, oh. but I can't draw them very good. Which is weird because, like, you would think that stuff that relies on just putting together geometric shapes, right. shapes. would be easier to draw yeah. than something more squishy and organic. Oh, but yeah, it's maybe, the opposite yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, it's like my perfectionism like flares up really bad i'm like oh it's not straight <laughs> well perfect for i'm always not in perspective. structure for that very reason frustrating yeah that Queen 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 studio out. does help a lot though <laughs> studio makes the stuff yeah. i'm bad at a little bit easier <laughs> it can mm -hmm. take care of some of that i guess it's like some <laughs> Like, um, some of the cartoons, like, when you see, like, cartoony weapons, like, Darkwing Duck's gas gun or something like that, and <laughs> just those really broad shapes, they're kind of fun, because it's like they're roughly based after the idea of something structural, um, yeah. but then they just throw in cylinders and all kinds of patterns and shapes in there, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's kind well, of that, fun, though. That was, that was a great design choice to get around the sensors, too. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although they came out with shotguns and chainsaws sometimes, <laughs> yeah. but Darkwing didn't, right? That was Nega Duck, right? right. Yeah, Nega Duck. Nega Duck. <laughs> Nega Duck. <laughs> I mean, there. I think I don't know. There are there are rifles in the Box Bunny too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the back in the old yeah cartoon days, they, they would he's easily... massacring uh, American Indians in one episode and counting yeah, them on the wall. I was about to say way back oh. in the day, the <laughs> Looney Tunes was pretty violent and pretty racist. <laughs> Murder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to try to avoid that. Although have, like, that's minstrel shows. But the Darkwing Duck and stuff like that—that that was also Disney. So Disney tried to make things a little bit more squishy for kids uh, a little bit sooner than everybody else did <laughs> I think <laughs> well I mean Looney Tunes was in initially intended for older audiences anyway yeah that's it was true yeah because yeah. those are just theater shorts they weren't specifically like kid stuff although popular for kids later but yeah they were really not, not love them they're great <laughs> Well, oh, the, uh, the cartoons are very like deprived, like artists today. Mm -hmm. They're very uh, what you call it, degenerates. Depraved. <laughs> yeah. Deprived means you're lacking in something. Depraved uh, means you're lacking in something else. You're crazy. Uh, well, maybe they didn't pay them enough, <laughs> or they didn't no, give they them didn't. long enough. Yeah, maybe both are true. 
Yeah. Well, uh, if, if Walt Disney started with them, and he he left because he wasn't getting paid enough, but he would have been. Uh, yeah, can I click on my in. layers? It's true. Damn it! I don't know what is going on with this Clip Studio. I I can't even click on my layers. Sounds like oh, you might God. need a fresh install. Melissa was doing something like that once, and it wouldn't paste. You couldn't copy and paste. Now I can. And when I, yeah, when I go to active another window, go to another active window, and then come back, and then it's okay. And then come back. Oh, That's really yeah. strange. Yelled at it. I like you know, I like whoever is drawing ah. uh, my favorite chick from Tenshi Muyo as Ariel. I like that one a lot. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're talking about mine. My she looks like Ryoko. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was like, that's my favorite character. It's got her face and her hair. <laughs> nice. I I haven't been able to to successfully draw any Tenshi fan art yet, even though it's one of my faves. But oh dang. But hey. Uh. My Aerial is Ryoko. Andrew. There yes. you go. Andrew, you're not <laughs> allowed to say fave on this channel. Why is that? <laughs> Especially not with I... that lisp. Does it put what? it in? What? I don't have a lisp. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew has a lisp? Hey, Eric. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, ha I just made an interesting discovery whilst getting my coffee. Uh, I'm uh, sure everybody here has a shirt or a pair of pants or shorts or something like that that is really old and you should probably throw it out, but you just love it too much and you keep it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, well, I have uh -huh. a pair of shorts like that and uh, there's no holes in it, but the groin has become so thin uh, that oh. uh, in the right light or in most light, uh, you can see the dangly bits. Yeah. You know, um, and my that's wife. That's funny. Yeah. Cause almost all my pants and all my shorts wear out in the groin. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Mine uh, but, uh, it's called the uh, chub rub. It is. Uh, but uh, but my wife is always making comments about it and stuff, and I find them in the weirdest places. Uh, it's raining season right now, so uh, you, I don't know what it is. I bought her a dryer, but she never uses it. Wow, that's that's rare for Japan. How yeah, did you I get know. one? I know. Black market? Dedicated one. No, I had to, I had to go. I was searching around. I found it in the city. <sighs> what uh, kind but, of dryer? Uh, well, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, she doesn't it use does it. Ma it. She no, doesn't. It does it's matter. just what sitting did you buy? there. What did you buy? Uh, I don't like know. Yamada like Denki a... one. Uh, but um, mm -hmm. uh, anyway. So she always hangs it outside, but she can't do it because it's raining. She's got stuff hanging all over <laughs> the house. Right. As usual, uh, fans blowing. I don't know what her thing is, but whatever. I, you know, unknowable questions. Uh, that but, um, seems like a good time to use the dry. <laughs> right. Uh, but but I, mean, I don't know. She just doesn't like it, I guess. I didn't really ask. But nevertheless, uh, I found where she's drying my those those particular pair of shorts. Would you like to guess where <laughs> they are? Window. Hanging in the window. Kitchen. Kitchen. No. Slung over the dog's house. <laughs> oh. I wonder if oh, she's no. trying to say something. <laughs> so sad. That's oh, funny. Goodness. You know, if she's hanging clothes around the house to, dr to air dry, she's probably trying to, um, like, maintain the clothes. Like, you know how some fabrics, you put them in the dryer and they shrink? Maybe. So it's like, it's a it's a type of, like, clothing care where you just are trying not to destroy your laundry in the washing machine and the dryer. Maybe yeah. she should use the dryer on those shorts since it's already too late. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. I, I don't really know why, uh, but uh, she she just never uses it. Uh, maybe she prefers the air dryer. I don't know what it is, but I don't ask questions because I've tried to help with the laundry and I get yelled at. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I do. Uh, how bad did you screw it up so you got yelled at on purpose? Hey, now, don't talk about strategy yeah. live on air. Uh, uh. <laughs> do something Mary so too, bad Chester. that you get never asked to do it again. Perfect. Yeah, she doesn't like the way I fold at all. She's very, very, very picky. Uh, but then again, she... What, what? I'm just wondering. Like, gets out of doing the dishes. Know, like, a basket of, like, warm towels out of the dryer and gone like, yeah... Uh, so really? nice. I don't think she likes it. Yeah, I don't think she likes. But it's one of the best things. Oh gosh, with the dryer so was, Yeah. Oh, See, that man. was that was one of my favorite things about when I was in Japan, and I had to wash my clothes 
was you know every every house has a washer but no dryer uh-huh. so you yeah. you wash you wash your clothes and then you hang them all up outside you wait 24 hours and i was just fascinated by the fact that they were still soaking wet by the time i got them i was like wow this is great i, I love that they they made this technology so efficient yeah oh my god yeah i don't know it's a japanese thing i guess uh traditions and all but you know it is what it is uh but um yeah so she doesn't like my shorts well at least she didn't try all that to say she doesn't like the shorts she doesn't like my shorts but the old ladies in town do eat your shorts (laughs) no (laughs) oh well you know but i like them they're comfortable I only wear them in the Isn't house. that always our excuse? Is like that's a very I mean, man excuse. It's it's comfortable. Well, the thing is, she went and bought <laughs> me a couple mean. pair of other shorts, and they're they're made of that stupid, I don't know, plasticky fabric. What do they call it? Polyester. Oh, polyester. gunpla. Ooh. Whatever it is, yeah, that yeah. crap. Uh, polyester. I hate, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that against my skin. Gunpla. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to keep cool in the summer. Ah, uh, maybe, but they're, they're very uncomfortable. They're constantly chafing on your skin. It's awful. I hate it. No, no, you gotta get better than that. Maybe you can compromise. Find something made out of a nice material, or maybe if you had a lot of them, I guess if you sewed them together, it might almost be a reasonable kind of thickness and material. So true. Just, I just, just wear nothing at all. I could do that. Too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the kids are out of the house. I suppose I could. But then again, I have leather couch though. Oh, oh yeah. that's not. Ooh. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> it's a bad idea, Ron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he didn't know about the couch. Hello, hello, Edwin. Hey, Edwin. Oh, what's up, dude? Hi. Oh, hi. Edward's thinking, why do I come in here? I know. <laughs> well, we got a bunch of people in here. We got Wig Giz Entertainment. We got Sheldon, of course. Uh, we got Pablo Romero Art. Can't wait to see his mermaid. Uh, we got the dreaded dinosaur, another Eric. Uh, we have, of course, Edwin has popped in. And we got, um, let's see who else we got in here. Uh, we got Jiminy has come in today. Very nice. Uh, yeah, sweet. And I know there's a bunch of people that are watching that are not commenting. Uh, you know, the interesting thing mm-hmm. to me is how many people watch this show after the fact. Because this thing, this show yeah. always racks up like 100, 150, occasionally 200. It always gets that kind of viewing. Uh, but it's not live. It's <laughs> after the fact. Live? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. We also just got mm-hmm. the notification the other day that Sheldon's book is almost done. Ooh, nice. Really? Yeah. He's got well. Last last update was five pages left. I don't know how many he has left now, but I'm excited. I Can't wait to get it. it. We get this. We get the. the again. Very nice. <laughs> Going through it through the art today is very interesting stuff. Uh-huh. Although uh-huh. Johan is uh, and his uh, uh, deep seated uh, <clears throat> opinions uh, are certainly winning, though. I would say. Oh. He, he's been trying to talk, but he sounds like he's talking from the back of the room. He does. The score just oh, strikes yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. He's back. Like... Well, well he has to pose with the prisoner in his room. Well, you know, and the... he does. That's true. And uh, But, of course, you know, he's taking an interesting <laughs> twist on uh, uh, Jihadi John, though. Yeah. You know, oh, Jihadi sure. Aladdin. <laughs> oh, my God. You understand. <laughs> I do hey, understand. Of course, it's natural. Natural. <laughs> it's natural. I think it's fine to be a mercenarist against the terrorists, you know? Right, right. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. <laughs> Johan is one of the greatest I, additions to this show. It is, it is true. It is true. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. And his art's fantastic, too. So this is a plus. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, but you are distant. Your mic is super low, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry. Let me see if I can't help that on this side a little bit. Oh, maybe. That kind of sounds like a, uh, a ISIS video. You know, that's okay. I pumped it almost two hundred percent. Go ahead and speak again. <laughs> Johan, talk for me. Oh no! Speak Hello? to me, Johan. Speak to me. Hello. Hello. Well, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I, I boosted him one hundred thirty percent. So. Hey Chester, oh, I'm gonna go get some water. 
Okay. Uh, you're in charge. Thank Not you. Choppy? Thank you. <laughs> I'll do my best. Just do your charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> I hope my mic is not is, is still working. <laughs> it is working. You're just it, low. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like super clear, just very low. It's weird. Oh really? Yeah, that is a good sound. Yeah. Or maybe I have to speak louder. Maybe it's like yeah, just a, just start a, screaming. Let's just get a little yeah. closer to it. Maybe. <laughs> my. Make your neighbors yeah, yeah, ask yeah. questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, honey, honey, uh, yeah, yeah. I know you've done a lot of work, but I, I have to, I have to insist that sushi be beneath the blade. <laughs> That's that actually be, huh? That would be cool. It would be. Maybe there can be a big piece of sushi, like in the background, like a like a cut piece of sushi. She knows. She knows what I mean, honey. She knows what I mean. Professor <laughs> don't know. He doesn't even like sushi. Anyway. I can't stand it. That's right. Mm. But but no, because it's a you great little Japan animation and... she's got going on. It's really cool, actually. Uh, but um, it definitely needs sushi because you know, I it, it's funny. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Get yourself some sushi oh, sandwiches. That's not supposed to be yeah. there. What the heck? <laughs> it is great, like... though, honey. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see what I can manage. Yeah. All right. And uh, and and Rabbit, of course, once again is creating nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, is he doing the? Well, well, I didn't want to draw a mermaid again. So. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I had the benefit of not being here for mermaid, so now it's this is all fresh to me. Oh, there you go. Uh, but uh, you know, it's interesting. This is actually a, a very Asian-like monster. Yeah. The Asians like the teeth and the hair. Uh, when it comes to their uh, monster things, how do you say uh, uh, "bakemono" in Thai, uh, uh, Gabby? Uh, I think the best translation would be uh, "pisat." Pisat. Right. P like pisat. Uh, pisat. It pisat. means pisat. like de It means demon because mm -hmm. I know like there's "bakemono," "yokai." Uh, but um, Pisat is specifically like a like a demonic evil spirit. Oh, there you we go. also have P. Oh. P is more like ghosts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that specific. Those are the two words we use for supernatural beings. I mean, there are other words, but I can't remember them right now. <laughs> oh no, I'm sure there are lots of them. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, here in Japan, yeah. the ghost is called a yude. Uh, uh, yokai is more like uh, saying fey. You know, or fairy Thing. creature, yeah, you know, yokai, oh, okay. uh, and uh, bakemono just means a a, a, a a thing beyond normal, so not normal bakemono. Oh, okay. So I, what I, about I, I've been called bakemono. Be normal, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about kaiju? Oh, kaiju, kaiju is big, is giant monster. <laughs> well, giant. no, die kaiju, giant, giant monster. Kaiju just yeah. means um. Uh, how would I translate that? Um, prickly. Prickly. Like oh, a cactus? Yeah. Prickly like creature. <laughs> prickly monster. Kaiju. Prickly. Oh, yeah. prickly. So like Godzilla? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, Godzilla's yeah. prickly. Yeah. But I think these days seconds. they just mean it to, they use it to mean monster though these days. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Another is, name for is, it. Uh, is, is Akuma still demon? Akuma? Ak Akuman is yeah. a very modern word, uh, um, and it just means evil yeah. man. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I very modern, it's only. though. Maybe it's a demon. Only. Yeah. Yeah, no, it usually refers to the devils or demons and stuff. But then again, oh, it gets okay. confusing because, like, an oni uh, is really for us like an orc or a troll. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. they also oh, use okay. it to reference it being a demon because they tend to work for Enma. Uh, but Enma is the lord of the underworld, but he's much more like a Hades or a, Hel uh, a Hela type of character than he is, say, Lucifer. Mm. Yeah. Right? So I would say that uh, Akuma would almost describe a Lucifer type character more, where it's yeah. like a more humanoid with evil powers than mm. it. Yeah, I know they got a lot of words for that stuff, but all cultures do. 
Yeah, yeah like they did have very specific yeah. words for specific kinds of things. Where we would say they're like all demons, we would say maybe like that's a bird demon and that's a this demon. And they have very right. specific. Yeah, they they do, uh, and uh, and you know you know what it comes out of there. Um, uh, I'm curious what other cultures do because usually a lot of cultures, especially particularly my cultures, are oral traditions. So they would get up and just tell stories, right? Uh, but here yeah. in Japan, one thing that they've been doing for forever is they will um, they will draw pictures in a sequential order, and then on the back of the picture, uh, the the picture before, uh, they'll write down the story, and they and they'll set it up, and they're usually pretty big, and the, you can see the picture, and usually an old man is reading the story, and he'll he'll take out uh, one from the back, put it in the front, and continue reading. It's um it's one of the reasons why Japanese glommed on to the, the American comic book so quickly, uh, because yeah they were pretty much similar. doing a version of yeah, it yeah <laughs> similar yeah, um but um uh, they've been doing that forever, uh, and I think because of that uh, they named everything right yeah hmm. <laughs> yeah I mean that that's going yeah. even they well, that's going back before even paper. Uh, I mean, they they used to do it yeah. on like uh, wooden strips, and they put them together to make like a plank. Yeah. Well, well like it's kind of like that in Thai culture. Like some of the old Thai culture, um, I it's like impossible to Google certain things um, because it's <sighs> the names are kind of vague, and unless you know what the folklore is, you can't really look it up. Um, mm. And you only know the folklore if you're around the local people. It's not Googleable. Oh wow, oh. that's interesting. But is that's it... because um, and... sorry. No, no, I was just go to... that... curious with Johan because he's he's uh, 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 in a slightly <laughs> different Malay culture, right? He's in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Different. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, how different though? I'm, you know, because you guys are sharing a, a common ancestry and history, right? Maybe our roots are the same. They but, are. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, evolved uh, much different than Thai. Have you? Because yeah, we. Are, I think. Huh? What? Sorry. I don't know. I. I, I have you? No, I mean, uh... we are uh, different. I think uh, we have a uh, influence from the the, the western west too, and the, that's the true. Islam. You do have a lot of Arabic yeah. and Turkish influence. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when we were in the Hindu and Buddha uh, Buddha religion, maybe we we are more alive. You just say Futa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't really know. Uh, I, I, yeah. I'd be curious to learn, though. Uh, but um, mm. uh, but I do know that uh, uh, when we had uh, uh, the, you know, the, the Byzantine Empire that, you know, of course, became the mm. Ottomans, right, eventually. Uh, I do know they did a whole lot of trading uh, down in uh, Southeast Asia, uh, not just in Indonesia, but Thailand as well. Uh, matter yeah, of fact, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the? Uh, how do you say, um, uh, uh, Gabby? What's the name of that uh, really famous uh, curry you guys uh, make? The really good stuff. What's it called again? Which one? The ma mas um, masumam. Masu oh, masaman. Yeah, masaman. Yeah, masaman. Well, that oh, is basically masaman. their mispronunciation of Muslim. Mm. Oh, it's Muslim oh. curry, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> uh, but 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 they had huge influence. The king of the time absolutely adored uh uh the muslim uh cuisine he loved it um and, oh i'm sure uh, yeah and uh there was uh you know they had a lot of success trading with thailand so my point being uh johan is the thai mm. uh, uh, had a lot of influence from, from the same places you guys did yeah so but uh, i don't know maybe the the thai is more maybe uh more reserved in culture maybe <laughs> I, I mean, uh, the, the kingdom is has been uh, exist in maybe hundreds, uh, hundreds of years. Oh yeah, right? no, the Thai yeah. the Thai Empire was was quite impressive for a very long time. That's true. Yeah. Now nice. I I do have another question though. And I, I'm sorry, I'm going to history. I'm going to get yelled at anytime soon. Oh, it's okay. Um, uh, but um, I am curious. <laughs> 
uh, maybe Gabby knows this. Why did they change the name from Siam, which was awesome, to Thailand? Um, <laughs> you know, I've asked this question, too. The best answer I've gotten is that Thailand kind of wanted to modernize. They wanted to keep up with everybody. Um, so I may be wrong on this, but what I heard is that they wanted to be known as the land of the free. Thai literally means free. Mm. Oh. So they wanted to be Thailand, like the free people. Oh, I get it. Um, because all around them, you know, uh, at the height of uh, West, uh, Western colonization of Southeast Asia, like basically the kingdom of Siam was this huge kingdom that took up most of Burma, Laos, Cambodia, Sumatra. It was huge. Oh, yeah. Um, and so... <laughs> Then, as more of the Westerners came in, and you know they had big cannons and stuff, so the kings realized they couldn't fight them because we didn't have the weapons necessary to fight them. So we had to slowly like sell off bits of land to make treaties to protect the people within the core of the nation. Mm -hmm. um, so then, as Thailand kind of went into the modern age, they became the free people. Uh, I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. Uh, it's just unfortunate because Siam is so Spain cool. Spain or anything so like cool. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 well, I miss that. I miss that name, though. It's such a cool name. But, you know. Hello? Uh, yeah. yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. you. You popped off for a second, but we can hear you. Uh, but, yeah, like Jakarta, hello? for instance. Hello? <laughs> we can yes, hear uh -oh. you, but you can't hear us. Okay. Uh, but, like Jakarta, for instance, um, that was a colonial fort. And there was actually a big old cannon there, which I believe you can go down to that area and they have it on display, like almost like a museum piece, that cannon. Yeah, and they sometimes, there are people praying to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is interesting when you look at those things. Uh, uh, there's many and, places uh, in Asia yeah. like that. Yeah. The cannon. I'm sorry, did I cut out? Oh. You <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're okay. We got to hear your story about being free land, which was awesome. Yeah, no, I think it is what interesting. Was the... Go ahead. Anyway, sorry, continue, Johan. Oh, okay. No, what was the last thing you heard? Um, I remember you saying that it meant free because they were having to colonize, and then during the modern era, and then I think that's where it stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, you heard all of it. I just, my internet dropped. Oh, no. Yeah. It's weird how it does that sometimes. Yes. It's the same time every night, too. It's, it's like at 10.30. <laughs> no, it happens here, but at, like, midnight. Internet suddenly, my internet thing. suddenly turns to crap. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. No, it's probably when they're doing their updates and stuff like that, because it's late. Uh, I'm sorry, Yo Johan, you were saying something. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the, the canon is actually a... a our given name, yeah. Some one one instance there is a there is a canon named uh, Si Jagur. I think. <laughs> yeah, you give names to the canons. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Makes sense. Yeah. It's fascinating. Well, yeah. well, a lot of the now major cities throughout Asia, particularly Southeast Asia, were originally colonial uh, forts, right? Uh, Jakarta's like that. Singapore is exactly that. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That yeah. was a British, you know, stronghold. Uh, but a lot of them, uh, uh, after you know the colonial age was done, kind of grew into their own giant cities, their own things. It's pretty interesting. Um, there's actually a lot of photography, uh, uh, Johan, okay. uh, yes. coming out of the uh, the British. Uh, is very is toward the end of it, but uh, the British uh, uh, fort of uh, um, uh, of Jakarta. Right. Um, there's a whole bunch of like uh, 19 early 19th century phot photography coming out of there. I don't know if you've seen oh. it, but it's pretty cool. I've even I don't, oh, the photograph. I yeah, see the, the paintings. Yeah. Early well, they got those too. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Like uh, 1950s. Excuse me. 1850s, 1860s. There's a oh, whole bunch okay. of uh, photography. Yeah. For the yeah, photograph, yeah, 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 yeah. photo uh, photography started in you know the 1500s, uh, but um, uh, by the uh, 18th century, uh, you know the mid 18th century, it had got to such a point that everyone had access to it. Uh, 
mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, right around 1850, 1860, particularly, you start seeing photographs coming from everywhere. Yeah. And nowadays. Well, I love them. I love that's one. I love to look at old photography. It's really cool because the thing that's interesting about those old cameras, they're better than the ones we have today. How is that? Oh. Oh, In a yeah. lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. They're so much clearer. Their pixel resolution is way better. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Great. That's why you should always uh, expect um, like old um, old film if you're going to remaster like a movie or something. Yeah. It has to be. It yeah. can't be done from a digital source. It has to be like the original original film. Isn't that weird just though? Not look right. yeah. well, we, we sit here and say we're actually getting better, but it, <laughs> it doesn't seem to be true in any case. What, well, what we if mean you by getting better is usually we're making things easier to do. Cheaper. We're getting lazier. And yeah, we figured out how to yeah. do things lazier and cheaper, or easier and cheaper. Yeah. Not yeah. necessarily higher quality. <laughs> well, you know, we've actually... Think. That's how they make spaceships. This, I know, right? Oh, God. Um, but, but, <laughs> no, seriously. But think about this. Like, um, uh, we, we've we rediscovered how the Egyptians and how the Romans made their concrete, right? Um, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we know how to do it, but we don't do it. The only people that use well, that both. kind of concrete are like artists. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, uh, and it's because yeah. of the cost. It, 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 it's yeah. all about saving money and it, everything's cheap and easily breakable. And it's really unfortunate, uh, particularly when it comes to concrete, uh, because mm -hmm. we can't build anything that has any lasting power whatsoever. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the thing is, I had to mention this before, but another thing we've we discovered a long time ago, it's been known for such a long time that, you know, the, 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 the stones of the pyramid and all of the stuff built by the Greeks and Romans, it's all concrete. There's no stone there. The, those statues and stuff, they're all poured. Yeah, I like people were just talking about how they carved each one. No, out they didn't. It's, yeah, like, it's all dude, poured. Nope. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we've known this for quite a while. We've tested it, right? We know. Uh, but yet, you still have these mainstream uh, 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 historians going on about the mystery. What mystery? It's all, it's just yeah, human like, ingenuity and concrete. Yeah, we've, we've figured it stuff. out already. <laughs> well, like. Uh -oh. Like it's alien's even... name uh, Juan, Juan, yeah. Juan Ra, <laughs> Juan Ra, so, yeah. Juan people. He's from Sirius Juan B. <laughs> from He's... what is Jupiter? Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. He just came up for the summer to do construction work. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> you picked him up so. at the uh, at the ancient Home Depot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matter, you know, the thing is, uh, with the uh, Roman concrete in particular, because they really mastered it and incredibly so, um, although the, the Egyptians had something they did different, which was maybe better. But anyway, um, the thing that was really cool about the uh, Roman concrete is if it's in contact with salt water, it gets stronger and stronger every year that goes by. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So those those Roman, uh, um, you know, piers and uh, and uh, wave breaks and all those amazing things they built all over, those things will probably never go away ever. Oh man, They're that eternal. skating is awesome. Yeah. I need to step up my skating game. Not everything gets washed away. <laughs> well, I but mean, it seems like in the long yeah. run you'd save money then if you did a good job. Yeah. No, because you need to make money continuously. Uh, that's why oh, the Christ. pharmaceutical companies won't give you a cure to cancer because they don't want to cure cancer. They want you to continually pay money month to month. Oh, but right. they have bought patents to... Oh, tons if of stuff. If you check, man, they hold patents to yep. so much stuff that they will never yep. make available to anybody because... Same with the... They made people. a movie about it. They made a movie yeah. about it. It was called Men in Black. They hold all the patents. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. That is true, but no, it's no that, Pixel. That's we have not talked about art contests. We have not. <laughs> we haven't. Pixel, hi. He's in the chat now. Uh, how yeah, is the little lady? No, we haven't done anything responsible. What are you talking about, Pixel? A campaign? <laughs> oh wow. Um, Gabby oh, will be back. Wow. She's having battery trouble. That sucks. Oh poop. Yeah. I love the, the shading on this one, and I love the tail. Like which one? Color. Um, I'm watching it on the YouTube, so I'm oh. on a. I'm watching it on a delay, so it might not actually be up anymore. 
The the it's one with Amaran. the hot face, the super hot face. <laughs> uh, Amron, yeah, yeah. Amron's good at that. Although, yeah, I've been yeah paying attention to the process because I'm like, man, I can sell shade. That's I can flat sell shade. That's the extent of color that I can do. Oh no, these uh, guys are really good. That is true. Yeah, um, this is but, awesome. Omron, Thanks. his bodies are always great, but the face uh, occasionally is a little bit too angular for me. Uh, but uh, but every now and then he gets the face that I like, and this is one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's like my style is very inconsistent. Always has been. Well, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. I mean, and, and that's just a personal preference on my part. I mean, it's great art. Uh, but um, uh, the uh, I like the rounder faces. Mm. Mm. You like the angular faces. Mm. Whatever's creating the feelings. <laughs> I love how that starfish is clinging on for dear life, though, Eric. Yeah. It's like, ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. You know what's on the other side of the starfish? That's where its mouth is. I know. Yes, I know. Yes, <laughs> yep. I know. It, <laughs> is, it is suckling. You know what would be funny, uh, Mr. Artist, Mr. Dangerous Dinosaur, uh, would be funny is if through the progression of, I'm sure you guys go to do more of these, uh, the starfish got larger. <laughs> Too much? No. Okay. Starfish does love his job. He gets, I, uh, yeah. he gets a speaking role because I... Freaking nobody would shut up about me having to give him one, so I gave him a speaking role. Oh, sweet. That's <laughs> perfect. That's good. I'm sure it'll be better in Aquafina. Yeah, he's got he's got one line. I love my job. <laughs> Kiss the girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much she does smoke, though. <laughs> because she's got a gravelly or more gravelly voice than I do. Oh. Is that oh, Aquafina? Yeah. Link to the, uh, art, co the art contest <laughs> is in the chat, though. Oh, we got an art contest. So, tell us about it, Pixel. It's from uh, yesterday to the 12th. Well, tell us about it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He's not okay. I have to. Okay, yeah, he click that link. Left. There is, is a art contest that ends on the twelfth. Uh, the first place winner gets one hundred and fifty dollars. Their art will be concluded as a trading card for all physical backers, and it'll be featured on the fan art gallery in the book. They will also receive a standard comic book uh, from the campaign for free, which will include any stretch goals. Second and third runner up. We'll have their entry printed in the first edition and receive the standard comic perk for free, which will include any stretch goals. Uh, winning entries are printed in color on an interior page of the comic book. Prizes are non-transferable. Estimated delivery of prizes January, you know, when everything else is, basically. Entrants must follow the instructions provided in the rules and submit a completed entry of original artwork featuring characters from the IP. <laughs> Uh, via the official Dropbox location that's linked. The completed entry work uh, may be of any visual medium, but must be submitted as a JPEG or PNG. <clears throat> any style genre, at least 300 DPI and 2,000 pixels uh, minimum so that it'll print good. Must be mm. their original work. May not contain stock material, trademarks, logos, or characters from other properties. Uh, May not include the AR-13L logo within the work itself. May not be inappropriate, offensive, pornographic, defamatory, unlawful, or plagiarized. Uh, not created through the use of AI. Uh, oh, all, included elements oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all included elements of the image <laughs> must be hand-drawn, modeled, or otherwise created without the, the assistance of AI-based tools. Only it's online got... entries are... Sorry. Oh, sorry. On. Only That's online right, entries will be accepted. They may submit as many works as they like. However, duplicate entries are not allowed. Only one entry per entrance may be chosen. Um, so you can do a lot, just don't do the same one over and over. Must be received by 11.59 p.m. PST on the 12th uh, of... Oh, that's July, not... Yeah, okay. The 12th of July. You got a whole... Over a month. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Uh, 
let's see. Uh, well, where is it? Oh, okay. Uh, entrance at least 13 years old as of June 1st and reside in jurisdiction where this type of contest is permitted. All wow. works submitted will remain in the exclusive property of the entrant, provided that entrants will not acquire any ownership or other interest in any and all trademarks, logos, copyrights, characters, and other interactual property. Entrant may not use the logo on the work itself, but may use the names within the title of the work. If entrance work is awarded first, second, or third place, they agree to grant Team Merc made a royalty-free license to print their work in the book, or the first edition of the book. A selection of winners. Semi-finalists will be selection, selected by a panel of judges and announced prior to the final judge, judging of the top three winning entries. The judges panel is composed of Pixel Trader, Piper Steed, Eric Hudson, uh, and a handful of select independent judges not affiliated with Team Merc made including professional comic book artists, writers, and editors. They will be judged based on the following criteria. The use of the characters in the work, like AR Little Mermaid characters, originality and artistic skill, success in capturing the essence of the title character and or her supporting cast. Judges' decisions are final on all matters relating to the contest. Final winners will be announced approximately a week after the deadline. Team Mermaid reserves the right to refrain from issuing the prize if there are insufficient valid entries that meet the criteria or comply with the rules. Top three panel finalists must be able to provide a valid shipping address for prizes to be fulfilled. This is a skill-based yeah. contest. No purchase necessary to participate or win. The contest is not sponsored, endorsed, or associated with any social media platform. Contest is void where prohibited or restricted. By participating and accepting a prize, each entrance accepts the conditions stated in these official rules, agrees to be bound by the decisions of the judges, and warrants that he, she is eligible to participate in this contest. Team Mergmaid has complete discretion over interpretation of the official rules and administration of the contest. Woo! <laughs> Very good. Well, Bye. thanks for um, Pixel, quite. Y'all remember all that? Because I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to say it again. Y'all remember yeah. all that, right? No, yeah, we do. We do. Um, <laughs> yeah, Pixel, like, uh, say again, uh, like the micro machines guy. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, <laughs> it's very litigious. But uh, Pixel, you left out a very important clause that you need to repair immediately, sir. Uh, Santa I, Claus? Well, no, I will quote it for you. <laughs> Chester gets a vote, and it's worth ten times that of anyone else. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Taste. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Woo! But that yeah, there's cool, a there's a there's yeah. a link, and the link will be available places so that y'all can read all that again yourself to yourself. But basically, it is at least not one of those art contests where we're like, by the way, all of this is now ours to do with whatever we want, and not yours, and you have no rights to it anymore now that you've submitted it. I hate those. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I hate those stuff. art contests that are so predatory that they're just like, yeah, no, we just want a bunch of free art. Yeah. <laughs> and we get we get to use it for whatever and we get to make money off of it and you don't. Uh but you might not you still might not win. Like I hate those. <laughs> yeah, no, that kind of reminds me of a certain person in our community. I won't name names though. Oh. Mm -hmm. Warn us. I think you're going to have Warn to for us to understand what you're saying. Uh, yeah. There's been, a, there's been a few of the, the, the super. No, there's been a few of the super <laughs> special pros that are better than the rest of us that have done that. Yeah, oh those my. are. Oh. Yes. Those are very predatory art contests to me, and I will die on that hill. <laughs> I agree 100%. And, uh, I like Johan? drawing too, so <laughs> I will die on that hill. Yes. Uh, YouTube's going to cancel you, sir. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, it's just happened. say, just say that you're that you're one of them, and uh -huh. that you're sharing your culture, and That's you should right. be fine. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, it's what it is. You, just say you're allowed to make that joke. Just say you're mm -hmm. allowed to. <laughs> just, yeah, say that. That's your pronoun, and you should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same rules as Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb Contest. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Pixel, that, that in, in reading that, I can see that people still, uh, yeah. they still have rights to their own work, as long as they're not uh, using our IP for something. Yeah, there's no reason <laughs> to do it. It's nonsense. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, it's a good idea, Pixel. Uh, these things are great for uh, building uh, community cohesion and, and involvement and stuff like that. They're they're good things to do. Yeah, it's fun. We certainly know a lot of creative people. That's right. <clears throat> that is true. We do. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this off. I can't. I can't leave this up. This is this is haram. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's Aladdin. Yeah. It is Aladdin. <laughs> it is Aladdin. It is, but it is. I horrible. can't see. I have to look. Yeah. I love yeah, it so much. Er- I don't know about the YouTube's rules. Oh, Abu, yeah, no, Abu is no. taking. They is have Abu no rules. Taking the picture. <laughs> they don't have rules. They have vague, vague statements that they do whatever they uh, want with. Um, yeah. Although Jeff, <laughs> Jeff and Eric, uh, you know, you uh, we're old enough to remember. You remember back when it the that the joke of uh, uh, forbidden was to to use the German word verboten. You remember? Yep. And now yep. Haram mm-hmm. has taken yeah. it over. Have you noticed that? Oh. Yes, I have. Yeah. Because when we were young, uh, we, the, the, the joke would be, it's a verboten, would be the joke. But now it's haram. <laughs> Did I do a good well, job, Johan? Thought... Is that correct? Haram. Wow. Is, that, is that good? Haram. Thank you. See, I, I'm I on it. On I'm a Harambe. homologist, bitch. All right. Harambe. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys were honoring Harambe. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but Egyptologists would know how to say it better. Oh, you shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yes. Uh, Harambe was sad, though. Yeah. He was just trying to protect the kid. He's the real reason they're shooting, right? It's not the other dude. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't go there, but I get your point. Uh, but that was sad. <laughs> Poor Harambe. I'm just saying, Harambe didn't do any fentanyl. I like the expression no, on true. Ryoko. Ryoko. That we know of. Yeah. <laughs> that we know, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I was that. a Cincinnati Zoo, so. Oh. <laughs> you know, there probably, is a place. There probably is a- meth. It may be. Uh, there is a place in Cincinnati I do want to visit, though. I know that's shocking. Uh, but uh, there is a place. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm not even a religious dude, uh, but I really want to go see the creation. Uh, uh, what's it called? The creation experience where they built the, the Noah's Ark. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Yes. Expensive to get there. I don't care. I, I go. I want to see that. That's <laughs> awesome, okay? dude. Well, no, because you want to go see Skyline Chili. Oh well, certainly I, I would try the food there, but but no, I want to see that, dude. That looks because they built that thing full on. They they put a lot of science and research into that. They didn't. They weren't playing around. They were Very not playing cool. around. The best way. The best way to figure out how something could have been done is to do it. <laughs> That's right, and they did. Matter of fact, yeah. they found out they had a lot of room to spare. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but they, they went into detail. They even put in like uh, feeding shoots and I mean, all kind of stuff they put into that uh, that construction. It, it's just I, I really want to see that, man. That that's that's an endeavor that's worth seeing, I think. I like I liked too. the Cincinnati Zoo when it had the red wolves there. Ooh. That was my favorite thing in Cincinnati. <laughs> I've never been to Cincinnati. I've driven through near it. <laughs> Yeah, you can listen to your I, favorite I radio hate, station. I, I hate it here. <laughs> in so, somebody get me out. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Hey Jeff, what's your opinion of Cincinnati? <laughs> Jeff, um, in it's in Ohio. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I said I hate it here, I meant Ohio. <laughs> yeah. I hate there. it here. Yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> Where's home? Where are you from? Louisiana. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. It's a big difference. I, it is. Yeah. I lived in, yeah. I, I lived and worked in uh, Louisiana for quite a while. It's like oh, culture shoot. shock. It really, oh my God, it was when I first got here. Holy crap. And I got here like right before one of the a record breaking winter. So oh. my first oh, experience wow. with snow was like way too much snow. Like people <laughs> building igloos. In their front yard, and everybody, you know, everybody here making fun of me because I'm out playing in the snow. 
You really don't want to come to Michigan then. No. You really don't want to come. Well now now we don't get we don't really yeah. get snow here now, like So I, I miss your... it now. Like I want just enough snow. I'm very picky. I just I need somewhere that has just the right amount of snow. <laughs> yeah. When I'm done with the snow, the snow needs to go away. I just, I just... <laughs> well, I, I did okay, enjoy I, I enjoyed the food in Louisiana. That was nice. Yes. The food was a huge shock going from my normal diet in Louisiana to here. Holy crap. Everybody got mad because I kept going, holy crap, y'all like think mayonnaise is spicy over here. Y'all suck. This suck. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like hot pockets? Uh, 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 a ton. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been Don't to, you uh, be knocking hot pockets. Hey. Yeah. Uh, you ever been to the <laughs> temple? No. Hmm? The temple is uh, are a very infamous uh, nightclub in uh, New Orleans. No, no, I was not a uh, nightclub. I would just hit nightclubbing age right before I moved. Oh, I see. Yeah, and I was a bouncer in there for a year and a half. Nice. The eighties. Really. Yeah, no, in the nineties, oh. but uh, uh, but uh, yeah, no, that place was violent. Oh, no. oh, dude! Most of the clubs were. <laughs> It was, yeah. Quite oh, nice. right. Yeah. Drunk people. My goodness. Drunk me, yeah. But it was a special. I've, I, you know, I'm a musician, uh, and uh, oh. I was always had a side job as a bouncer to make sure I had money in my pocket. Um, and yep. uh, I was playing in, in, uh, in. I got to play at a lot of the clubs. I got to play at uh, uh, many of the, uh, you know, Bourbon Street and um, what's that one up north. Uh, but uh, I played at a lot of clubs. I did, but there's so many musicians in New Orleans. You don't make much money yeah. there, right? Um, yeah, it's really hard to stand out while being there. Like, it is. It is. There is um, so much. Yeah. I, I did get a few opportunities, and I was happy to get them. I learned a lot too, which is really why I was there. I wanted to learn. Um, uh, but uh, you know, I didn't make lots of great money so I, I you know was as usual bouncing i usually work at strip clubs because the money is better uh but uh, the temple paid really well uh and i learned very quickly why yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah so. <clears throat> so when you say you worked at strip clubs were you a chippendale no <laughs> no no oh, oh okay yeah well it's just the ones end. <laughs> so did you jail. ever have to jump off a stage when you were playing music to throw somebody out um no i didn't do the 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 jobs consecutively oh okay yeah oh because then there'd be nobody watching the front door yeah no that makes sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you tore off the guy's ear no that guy was <laughs> trying to shoot my brother oh, oh. damn yeah. Was that also that the, in New Orleans? No. <laughs> that that was the guy that ripped your guts out? No, that was Puerto Rican in New York. Uh, Damn, you've been everywhere and gotten almost killed by everyone. <laughs> well, I've nearly died seven or nine times, I'd say, yeah. Man, most of my near-death experiences were lightning, because I'm pretty Zeus, sure Zeus is pissed off at me or something. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, oh somebody God. up there hates me, because I have been... Nearly struck by lightning way too many times for one person. <laughs> wow. No, I should I should have I should have won the lottery at least once by now. <laughs> oh. Did they smite it. me, mighty smiter? No. It's, it's uh, yes, smite me. Oh my oh, man, my almost hit by <laughs> lightning stories are crazy. And they followed me from Louisiana to Ohio. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe uh, you are the chosen one. Maybe, or just Under she eats too much metal. Yeah. I, I uh, I do have a problem. Like I get zapped by everything year round, like static electricity oh my and gosh. electronics have a shorter lifespan if I own them. So mm. yeah, I've had a couple of people tell me that you know there's something that I don't know. Some people can just be or whatever that that can cause that, and I can't remember the science behind it because it was creepy. So. Why? Maybe it's but your I'm... magnetic personality. Well, I mean, there we human, go. Humans are electrical <laughs> uh, objects. Yeah. 
we are like yeah we our uh, brain signals and everything are bio like a chem, electrochemical yeah no your whole body is giving off a charge all the time yeah, yeah. too much iron it's... in that diet i'm anemic bro my <clears throat> whole life the doctors keep telling me that i don't have enough iron maybe that's the problem maybe, maybe that's it <laughs> that's what Zeus is trying to tell you Oh, maybe maybe that's it. Zeus is trying to tell me I need more iron. That's right. He's trying to help you out. Yeah. I did keep making a joke that I wanted to to make a character based off of my problem, and it was like, so it'd be me, right? So electricity, the idea of electrocution and electricity, like, scares me. So like, I'm I'm scared of getting electrocuted by stuff, and it makes me nervous about some stuff. Uh, and uh, so at one point. Uh, I was talking about, oh, I need a character that's like, that's like Thor, where uh, she it turns out that she has like uh, some kind of uh, electric, electricity controlling power, and maybe she needs an object. But like, she's terrified of it and keeps thinking that it's trying to kill her. So she keeps like running away from uh, the weapon that's chosen her or some shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, it could be fun. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know uh, we at one point had made uh, we were playing a game. It was like the we were making the league of like rejected superheroes. So we put her there for a little while. And it's like she just she's scared of her own power and she thinks it's trying to kill her, not trying to <laughs> be welled by her or whatever. <laughs> Hit you yet? If the lightning was trying to, it probably would. I can't take that chance. <laughs> 22 minutes update. Oh, thank mm. you. Keep in mind, guys, uh, we do hope you're drawing minutes? along. And, uh, of course, you could drop that over on the Discord oh. in the uh, in the draw along okay. section. Uh, but if you uh, <clears throat> would prefer, you can go over to Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Uh, yes, death. I am digging. I'm digging the, 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 uh, the witch one, too, a lot. Yeah, no, it is good, yeah. Rabbit. I was good because we were talking about death. I want to ask because, you know, I almost died twice surfing. Uh, and I'm kind of curious oh, if Ra Rabbit's a surfer. And I'm kind of wondering if he's ever had uh, close encounters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, especially when you surf in like 12 foot waves and stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You know, I actually yeah. say it by it's life scary, life. but you just have to not get scared, don't you? So you just have True. to not panic. <laughs> uh, but I did a lifeguard did save my ass once, though. Uh, we were just out all day. It was there was a storm coming in, right? And uh, we were out all day, and uh, uh, I was just exhausted, dude. I was just the sun beating on me. I was just absolutely exhausted, and I just you know, I was getting uh, pulled by the riptide. I couldn't deal with it. And uh, all, all of a sudden, a, a lifeguard, he must have seen me in distress, showed up and dragged me to shore. So, saved my life, man. Yeah, that's what I'm there for. Baby. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> she my take sister away tried to pain? drown me once. <laughs> Your sister tried to drown you once? Well, that's her job. So. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she, she tried to drown me, so a lifeguard had to come and grab both of us. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, wow. It was... Yeah, it was embarrassing for me. Uh, like, but yeah, no, we were, but it was like at, at a pool and she jumps off, like I'm swimming in the deep end and she's younger than me and she jumps off the side in the deep end on top of me and then won't let go. <laughs> and she's just holding me under water. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the more I... The more I tried to like swim or get her off me and you know swim up for air, like the more determined she was to keep me down there. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh did they bring her up on charges? Should have, but she was like ten and I was like sixteen. <laughs> Oh wow! Yes, and she wow. overpowered you. I get the embarrassment. It's what's well, the weight? Well, yeah, because it's the weight of her though, and the fact that she was flailing. So basically, uh, putting opposite momentum to the direction I'm trying to swim in. So it does like, suck because I love, love, I love, love, love swimming. Uh, so it was really freaking annoying. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I what what. When the lifeguard grabbed the hold of me, I at least had to wear with all enough to to just relax. 
Um, mm. So I wasn't yeah, in stress yeah. for them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I've done life saving stuff, and yeah, you, that's the biggest thing is if they panic, <laughs> they yeah, can right. kill themselves. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but I remember getting on shore. I said thanks to the guy. Then I puked a lot of salt water and I walked oh. away, went home, and I, my whole body was shivering, uh, even though it was hot middle of summer, and I took a shower. It helps, huh? That was my, that was my near death drowning uh, uh, day. Oh. Oh. I'm glad you're coming. We're glad you're here now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's not fun. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Did you get to go swimming again after that? Or did oh, that of course. Kinda... Next day. <laughs> Can't let it keep you down, huh? Well, young and stupid, you know. Oh, okay. Don't fear the reaper. That's right. Don't fear the reaper. No, when, we, when you're young, you do, especially if you're a male. Uh, we do a lot of dumb stuff and, and white. There seems to be something mm -hmm. with that. We are the masters of the Darwin Award for sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know what it is, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Young white kids. Wow. Wow. I mean, there was stuff I did as a kid. I, I, I would I would chastise anyone I saw doing it now. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah I guess. I think my favorite, my favorite two dumb things that I did was like uh, car surfing and oh yeah, uh, fire fireworks wars. <laughs> oh, those are great! I oh, love fireworks yes. wars. Uh, bottle rockets and Roman candles. Of my, those are great. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lost some of my favorite <laughs> clothes to those wars, but it was so fun. <laughs> well, we used to like build this kind of makeshift sled because in the winter when it snow on the roads, and we lived in an area where nobody was, so uh, we would tie it to the car and just drive around, and people would you know hang on to the back. You know, it was dumb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of really stupid stuff, uh, but you know we were just having fun. We didn't really think about it. You know, we have you this. You think you're invincible. Like, you do. You do. It kind of sucks when that feeling stops. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, I suppose. But we had a quarry, right? And we used to go to the top of it, and it was it's 120 feet, which, as if that's not high enough, uh, there was a tree <laughs> sitting on the uh, on the cliff edge, and we'd climb to the top of the tree just because so we could be higher. Wow, oh, I course. broke my nose at least three times doing that. Uh, yeah. I mean, 120 feet oh, is, right. is not a joke, right? Yeah, I remember no. being able to like climb, climb really tall trees, get yeah. way too up high where like the the branches were too thin, and find out that that's my limit by falling down and hitting like every branch on the way mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. and yeah, then just getting crazy. right back up. Like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> branch broke. <laughs> yeah. My my brother did the same thing, but whereas I never had any really serious uh, uh, adverse effect from it, he was the kid that you know always found the danger and it happened to him. I remember. One oh time, no! No, he was. Uh, I didn't see it. It was. I it, you know I heard of it after the fact, but uh, uh, because I went to a different. He I'm five years older, so I was going to a different school than he was. So my bus was earlier than his, right? Uh, but he's at the bus stop, he's goofing around, playing in the tree, and then uh, uh, later the school called and says, uh, you know, because back, you know, when they actually cared, uh, and yeah. asked my mother, uh, uh, you know, uh, where her son was, and she said, well, she, she went out to the school bus, so she went to go see, he had fallen out of the tree, the branch had gone through his leg, and he was oh. dangling there, and had been there for a couple hours. Oh what? my god! <laughs> Yeah, we Man, saved the wood. Uh, they they cut, they pulled it out of him. We saved it, we put it on the mantle. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> ah, trophy, <laughs> trophy. Yeah, oh, idiot. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Poor yeah. thing. Is it the same brother you had to save from the guy who was trying to stab him? Yep. Oh, he's dumb. Oh, my brother, God. this I have lots of stories. Matter of fact, when uh, of course I did, you know, uh, uh, G-rated versions of them, but uh, my kids yeah. loved uh, uh, the uh, brother Tim stories. I used to tell them <laughs> when they were little. Uh, but you know why that guy was trying to shoot him <clears throat> uh, was because um, uh, my brother, you know, I you know I, I enjoyed the ladies and I went and dated, but I did it kind of one at a time. You know, and uh, I, I and I didn't um I didn't go after uh, girls that were you know with other dudes, 
Yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, right? no. My brother oh. had different opinions on the subject. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, and uh, he he's constantly in trouble for messing with dudes, girls. Of course, the the women have a little bit of responsibility here. You know. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, 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 but uh, he was basically trying to trying to shoot him because his sister. Uh, and the funny thing oh. is, his older brother and I were good friends, and we all were standing there. Um, and uh, but his sister was dating another guy, and my brother was, you know, enjoying her on the side. Uh, and then uh, she decided she was going to break up with that guy because she wanted to be my brother. But my brother was like, "Yeah, no, I'm not. You know, that's not what he was all about. He was just playing around with girls." So she now she's just wrecked and upset because she doesn't have a boyfriend and she doesn't have a new boyfriend. So she's upset. So he decided he's going to kill my brother. I told Damn. him to put the gun down. Ooh. He didn't listen, so I took it away from him. And in by accident, I tore his ear off. It was not intentional. <laughs> was I. So, yeah. My brother is not much of a fighter, which is, if you go to do that oh. kind of shit, you would think you'd be able to back it up. You but would, no. you'd, yeah, you'd want to be. He's got a brother. Least. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, no, I, I would <laughs> never, never happy and pleased with that boy. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, but you still have to look out for him. He's family. Well, yeah, I mean, I could have let him get shot, but I'm sure I got yelled at for it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have said something, right? Yeah, yeah. Funny thing, the older brother just shook his head and said nothing. Of course, we did we did save the ear though, because uh, we were uh, oh. we were in the parking lot of the mall, the Wool Woolworth Mall, and they had like a McDonald's and Burger King in the front, and we were all of course <laughs> we'd get the you know nighttime snacks, and uh, someone had a uh, a Coca Cola cup, uh, and uh, we put the ear in there with the ice, and they took him to the hospital. So, oh, that was nice. Yeah. yeah. Did they actually uh, were they actually able to put his ear back? <laughs> they did. They sewed it back on. Yeah. Oh dang! Oh, that's what we heard, anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I didn't, I didn't. It wasn't intentional. I just took the gun away from it. Right. Oh, oh man. Oh, how did you, did you get the ear at the same time? <laughs> because he he didn't want to give me the gun, so I had to take it uh. by force. So you did like a three studio? And move? with it came ear. Well, I I kind of grabbed him, uh, uh, pushed the gun up, grabbed him around the, you know, I kind of hooked him like in a backwards way with the arm and uh, it stripped the gun out with my left hand. Uh, but he was struggling and I just kind of clamped down on him. And in doing so, he pulled his head out at the same time and the ear came with it. Oh. Okay, John Wick. Hey, no, it's not my <laughs> fault. Well, I am a bouncer. You know, I, I do have experience in these things. Did you put that on your like resume for being a bouncer or oh, God, is no. the experience? No, that's the last <laughs> thing you want to do. Bouncers well, not supposed honestly, to hurt people. Honestly, being they... in Louisiana, like getting guns in your face, oh yeah, yeah it's all not time. that unusual. Like I've had it happen to me in Louisiana, just walking down the street. No, I worked at a bunch of places. I worked at a couple strip clubs there as well, and uh, you know the, the it's not just there, but a lot of places these girls um, they will have side uh, how should I say it side jobs side act yeah oh yeah um, yeah yeah. that's and, a lot uh, of strip clubs so. yeah and uh i don't know what's wrong with these idiots i mean when you go to a strip club those girls don't love you yeah yeah Duh. um and, and yeah. then of course i if, love it that one. yeah and of Sorry. course if these girls are going to later uh, uh allow you to pay them a lot of money to play around they don't love you Right. Uh, but I actually had a guy come up and he we were o just opening. I was I was doing, uh, you know, we were getting everything prepared and uh, he walks in with a gun and immediately started pointing and we had to take him down. But it's the dumbest thing. The girls are way in the back. Right. He comes in the front door and there's literally three <laughs> bouncers sitting there. What do you what think is going to happen? happen? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You get to do your job. Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, but uh, they might lose an ear. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it happens more than you would imagine, though. I just don't understand the thinking. It's like th these girls right. they really don't love you. They really, really, really don't. They're just making, they're doing their job, making their money. They don't love yeah. you. But a lot of dudes, oh, you I don't took know, the eye. Well, that that was different. That was that was a girl's fault too. <laughs> well, I've actually done that twice. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eyes pop out way too easy. 
It's a design. I don't know. I've never seen an eye pop out. Oh, I popped, I've, pop. I've had it. I've what? popped out two in my life. Oh my god. I guess you're just lucky. <laughs> like, how, like, like how far, how far out are we talking? Oh, hanging, dangling. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> it can't. No. Oh, yeah. God. It's not my fault. Yeah. If the bouncer says stop, stop. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? It's pretty simple. I had uh um. A, a bouncer had to rescue me from like a pack of Canadians. <laughs> oh yeah, them Canadians are famous, yeah, for their uh, insurrectional uh, 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 states. I just, I just think it's, it was, it was kind of bizarre. But like, uh, I was at a club, but that was here in Ohio, and I was at a club, and I was originally talking to friends who were talking to, I guess, this group of like four or five freakishly huge like tall dudes and uh or at least they were freakishly to me but i'm kind of small but uh and so they were talking about how they were vacationing from canada and like that they're hockey players and stuff <laughs> and i was like okay oh. okay um but then i realized that my friends had like introduced me and then bailed and i was surrounded mm. by friends. like these yeah friends yeah i didn't talk to him ever again after this actually uh and i was by like surrounded by these dudes i didn't know that were huge and they were definitely not polite <laughs> wow yeah. yeah so like they were wanting to dance they were wanting me to drink this and drink that and um well, they really? stood out they stood out hardcore because this was a, a goth club <laughs> oh jeez. Well. You yeah, know, so I'm there, like, you know, in, oh my god, yeah, well, black lipstick and uh, corset and, and all this crap. Uh, it's a darkness, eh? Yay, yep, yeah, and they were, and they, yeah, and they were, you know, they definitely looked like vacationing Canadian hockey players. <laughs> um, so this was like, like the entire place and everybody they were talking to, I think, just felt too much like a, a gimmick to them, like. Mm we were supposed to be like we were meant to be a source of of entertainment to like other people nope. oh, instead of going there to be entertained ourselves so right. at least that's how they acted and they would not freaking like let me out of the middle of the circle they had like kind of made around me uh Ooh. and i was getting like dragged this way dragged that way along by them but like there was never an exit like there was always somebody on each side and behind me and this and that um trying to get me to drink all sorts of stuff and then wow. uh the uh the bouncer there that night like i basically was just like sos with my eyes <laughs> right yeah no they the bouncers are always looking out for that yeah, cause I so I I looked around and found out oh, where uh, he was chilling at. This was a pretty small place, so I don't even think there was more than one. But I was like, "There's a lot of these big dudes," uh, and uh, it was cool because his name was Wolf, or at least that's what he went by. It's just that's Wolf. <laughs> but uh, like I I eventually found him, and I just started like with my eyes like, "Help!" <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, that, that, and, that's their job. And that, like, that offended the dudes around me. Like, they could tell, I guess. Sure. That I was at least trying to get away from them. And that offended them. So they went from, like, oh, you know, you should dance with us. Dance for us. Drink this, drink that. To, like, what's your problem? God, Americans. <laughs> wow. And they were yeah. trying to, yeah, they were trying to act like I was rude. And I'm like, are you shitting me yeah. right now? People on I'm vacation. five three. Y'all are yeah. like eight feet. Y'all look yeah. like eight feet. Yeah. You know, big ass dudes, and you will not let me get out of this circle of you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, um, the local places that I worked in hardly had any trouble. It was always the tourist areas. Yeah. That's true. Which is weird because I can't imagine like tourist areas in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, it, 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 yeah. it's always the tourists, because they feel free. They're not in their home, right? 
Um, yeah, it almost teenage. feels like they act like they have like diplomatic immunity. Yes, because they're on vacation. Yes. Yeah. The, the the bloodiest uh, uh, encounter I ever had doing the job uh, was uh, uh, actually in a very touristy place, um, and uh, um, basically we had this big stage. I had th- had three places for girls to dance. Uh, they have the wraparound seats, you know, the ones that are right on the stage. And there was a oh, whole group yeah. of people up at the wraparound stage. And one of the guys, uh, the girl's dancing, and one of the guys is just being rude, right? He's just being mm. rude. Uh, which, you know, uh, they, uh, we'll let him go for to a certain extent for saying something, right? Uh, I But unfortunately, it didn't get to that point uh, because the, the, the stripper, uh, she jelly beamed him, and, um, uh, which she shouldn't have done. Um, oh. but, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, but she did, uh, cause she was pissed. Uh, and his girl, I don't even know what that means. Uh, but... <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to describe it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm no, I'm sitting here <laughs> racking my brain trying to think, okay, stripper he slapped him with his, with her labia. She did. Yeah. Well, not, oh labia, my God. You know, the, <laughs> the clitoris. Uh, but, um, uh, but it's called jelly beaning. Anyway, the girls shouldn't do that. Huh. They, and she got yelled at for it for sure because she, she, she created an absolute disaster because his oh, no. girl was with him. A lot of times you'd be surprised girlfriends come in with the boyfriends all the time. Right. But this was a large group of friends. Right. And the girl got mad, instantly pissed that she did it, which I get, I get. Yeah. Uh, and then the stripper, uh, uh, ex- you know, uh, made it worse, uh, by <laughs> kicking the girl in the face with her heel. Oh, right? okay. Now that's, it, That's so not cool. it blew up. Well, the stripper was yeah. he was being quite rude, to be honest with her, uh, with you. But um, uh, oh no, uh, I get I get that, but I also get the chick being pissed off at that point, right. and I don't think it would be it's not fair to retaliate on the chick. I feel like, but yeah, no, 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 <laughs> I agree, I hundred percent agree. Uh, but um, that kicked off, and there yeah, was that, three of us on the would. floor, and uh, we were outnumbered. Uh, but oh, uh, we, we we you know we did deal with it, but that was not good. That was bad. So. Yeah. I'm still trying to imagine, like, somebody having, like, a clit big enough to hit somebody with. It's just called jelly bean. And because uh, the girls are, you get pretty close. They're not supposed to touch in that in that setting. Uh, but it, it, they just do it sometimes. Uh, often it's done in a, in a happy way. Right? Maybe she thinks, because, you know, these are, they're, 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 they're working, but they're also girls. Right. Yeah. Uh, and maybe they see a, think a guy's cute or, or they, he, they like him or something like that. And they'll just kind of do that. They'll do that. Um, it's yeah. just called it'd be more like, oops. Yeah, like... exactly. It's that kind of shy oops thing, but this, she did just to piss him off, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, uh, but uh, cause I was watching the stage. We all were, I'm sure. Uh, cause we, he was being rude. So we, he caught our attention. So we were all focused on it. And as soon as it kicked off, we were instantly in the situation. But there were a lot of dudes at that day because the entire wraparound for that stage was one group. Oh dang! They were all there together. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, so I don't that know. That does where sound they like it could from. turn into a bloodbath. <laughs> it, it wasn't good. It was really, really. Bad. It's the worst uh, uh, encounter I've ever had doing the job. I did it twelve years. Dang. Yeah, but uh, oh well. And now you buy countries. I know I do. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Don't you listen to them. I just bought a, a little walk up in Malta. <laughs> Dock your yacht. That happened to be about a million and a half acres. No. <laughs> Small <laughs> little spot. There. There's a hot dog stand there. <laughs> dude, Malta's food is awesome, dude. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to go to Malta, go. The food is excellent, dude. The Maltas are great. No, because they have, are the shakes. Well, they have a lot of that Italian influence in their cuisine, but they also have the Turkic, or actually, I think it's more Lebanese uh, influence. And of course, Lebanon's a famous food place, right? Uh, but sure. it's, um, uh, yeah, no, Maltese food is excellent, dude. Oh my God, I love that so much. <laughs> what? Maltese food? <laughs> Oh, you're talking about no, this damn picture. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it yes. is so wrong, but so great. Yes, I love Apu the best. Actually, Apu's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Apu know what looks got a lot into like you curious today, George. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it is time, and I'm kind of waiting for Jeff. He's he's slacking, Eric. Mm-mm. 
Is what? he even here? He is. I see his thing here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I keep I keep hitting the D key. D! Yay! We Johan, are done. What what country is Johan from? Indonesia. 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 Johannesburg. Oh, never mind. Oh, that would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> I own the country of South Africa. <laughs> I just feel like that's the magic carpet right there, too, and it everything. Is, it is, that it is, is it great. Is, it, is, it is perfect. Uh, although yeah, I don't think beautiful. Pixel will appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, your text has to be yeah. a lot bigger. Yes. And, It'll make uh, the text a lot bigger. Yeah, we can't see the text. It's too small, dude. Too small. I'm, I'm going to yeah. make it more. Well, you go ahead. I'm gonna. You'll uh, be be in a bit, so I have to go through. So, all right. So, uh, 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 Piper, uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna take a look at the art. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Jeff has already dropped the show poll, uh, and people are gonna vote. But we're gonna take a look at the art. And uh, your job is really, really simple. You need to critique it ferociously. Nice. I am great at making artists very angry with me. So Good. perfect. <laughs> So here we go. We're going to start with AFLM. Uh, now, uh, are uh, you? Uh, do you have an opportunity to be on the Discord where you can see the art specifically? Uh, let me go back to it and figure out which one of these I'm supposed to be AFLM. watching. That's me. Okay, so if I watch that one. Yeah, just click on it. Yeah, just click oh. on it. Oh, I'll just have to. Okay, I get it. I'll watch each one as I click right. on them. Okay. okay. So uh, now I this is it. Andrew, and he's our local furry. Uh, he's, That's he's, not true. It is true. Nice. Uh, he's, <laughs> very, <laughs> he's a very good artist, as you can he's tell. He's not local at all. Uh, and uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, I would say that. Um, uh, the, it's the, resident. The, it's resident furry. Resident. You're yeah, correct. Yeah, that would make more um, sense. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'll, I would I'll say see you all in court. <laughs> this design uh, leaves little to the imagination. Uh, however, uh, I love the hair, though. Yeah, I do love the hair and and the, the gun, which you don't notice at first, and then you see it and you realize this is trouble. Yeah, I know. I love I like the big anime hair, and I love the attitude of the like the entire picture, the attitude in it, mm -hmm. like. Thank you. Uh, her spent like her face. She's just, she's just very what? <laughs> exactly. She has no time for it at all. Yeah, yeah she like is it. done with everybody's shit before <laughs> they started That's right. their yeah. shit. That's right. And well, I love that. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of like anime, so that influence in it definitely love that. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I also like the fact that he 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 kind of cartooned it a little bit, uh, which takes yeah. away and makes it a little more subtle. I like it actually. Is what I do. Yeah. It is. You, you don't do. really think of it as looking at a naked chick, like no, no. Because she already like by design, she's got strategic covering. But then mm -hmm. in this picture, you're really not thinking about it either. It might as well is might as well be a swimsuit or something like. Well, <laughs> It makes sense. Now, in your story, uh, does Ariel have the ability to fl uh, flip flop between, you know, mermaid and human form? Yes. Okay. Well, that yeah. That if makes there's a lot enough, of sense. yeah. When there's enough salt water involved. Enough um, salt water. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. Um. You know, that's one of the things people are making a lot of complaints about the new Little Mermaid that's out. Uh. No. No relation to this one. Uh. But um. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh you know, a lot of complaints in many ways. Bad singing. Bad acting. Bad CG. The whole race swap thing. All those things. Uh. But the thing I noticed that I thought was very odd. Uh. This. This. What's this girl's name? What's the uh walleye girl's name? Uh. Oh. Haley. Walleye. Yeah, Halle, Halle, Haley, Barry. Okay, Haley that sounds, Bailey. That's, uh, Bailey. Bailey. It sounds Halle very Barry. similar to a, a, a lady. I know. I do tend too. To like. Yeah. Uh, but but anyway, um, she uh, she's so short. She's so that's little. Cute. It, it is cute. It is cute. <laughs> but the problem is the wardrobe people put her in a dress that's way too puffy and big for her size. Oh no. Yeah. They they they, they, they it's the wardrobe people. Uh, it's not her, her being small. Well, did they thing. do that on purpose, though, to kind of give that Haley Bailey, uh, or Holly Bailey? But yeah, did they do that on purpose, maybe to give her that, like, awkward... I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I haven't seen sure. it. Uh, and it might just be that the guy playing Eric is really big dude. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't so know. I am. 
Yeah, yeah I was upset because he's not he's not hot. Like, if you're going to fucking get it, man. <laughs> well, you're not allowed to, to have hot. pretty people anymore, if you haven't noticed. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't put hot people in movies. Yeah, no hot people. <laughs> uh, but I was just surprised uh, how, because it makes her look very dumpy, right? Oh. And she seems to, you know, I don't think she is dumpy. She's not Aquafina. Was it like when she transforms and she's like, she made a dress out of just like a sail that was lying around? That wasn't supposed to fit well. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, I, I didn't even know that scene existed. No, I'm talking about the, um, uh, yeah, no, once they the give clips. her clothes clothes, though, they give not her good. fitted clothes at least. Yeah. yeah, they do, but it's not good. Uh, but, but anyway, mm. it doesn't matter. This is better. <laughs> yeah, this yep. is a body of somebody that, uh, has to swim. Almost 24-7. Yeah, you know, we think they'd be <laughs> radically athletic, right? Uh, yeah. But, um, but it also matches the uh, the proper look of uh, Hans Christian Andersen's creation. Uh, nevertheless, um, <clears throat> thank you very much, Andrew. And if you like what he's done, please vote for oh, the poll. Uh, we're moving on to Amy now. Remember, harsh, harsh critique. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, Amy's oh, wait, cheating me... again. <gasps> Yes. Ooh. <laughs> she not, not only is it not only is it already cute, she has to put a <laughs> bubble gun in there. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is like back in the day when she's practicing. <laughs> right. I am a sucker. I'm a sucker for cute and chibi versions, and especially if it's like cute chibi versions of stuff that's supposed to be like. Way badass. <laughs> <laughs> they tried so hard to make it scary, and then you're like, Bleep. right, right. When you you take something that's supposed to, you know, be violent, or you know, like she's supposed to be sexy and violent, you make her adorable. Yeah, yeah. It's mermaid babies. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. You do that with a male character too, and I'm just all over it. Like, <laughs> well, actually, I kind of want to see the mermaid babies version from Amy now. Mermaid yeah. babies. Oh, I know in our story we don't we don't flat out uh, say it, but uh, in our story, the way you can tell the age of a mermaid is how much of her is covered in scale. Oh. Uh, which is why she's got like that patch of scales that kind of indicates she's a young adult. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, but so this when is they super... when they are baby mermaids, they have a lot of scale because they need that protective. Oh, oh, it's outer layer. Oh, yeah, and then they shed scales <laughs> as they age. Oh, I see. Wow. Um, and, uh, you know, Amy just had to go ahead and put the coup de gras on there by putting a little fish on her gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. cute. It is very oh, cute. Gosh. If you guys like what she's done, please vote for the straw poll. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I kind of like the muted colors. It's way yeah. different from yeah, the direction great. everybody else oh, went to. Yeah. Is yeah. with the more muted. <laughs> yeah, I tend towards those a lot, but it's I don't know. I I think it works nicely for that because like she's in water, so I feel yeah. like kind of muted and blues and kind of cooling it down. It's I think it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting. Yeah, to get I like Steb uh, uh, Stebastian myself. Is what I'm really waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. uh, but we got a couple to go before that we're going to Amaran next uh, so uh, Amaran is uh, our uh, uh, resident Australian and uh, <laughs> yeah no okay mm. different different direction yeah. a little bit different than Amy a little bit uh, this I bit. want as a poster though <laughs> it is great yeah I want is. this on my wall <laughs> I love the bubbles Yeah. And the sparkles. Yeah, yes, always sparkles. Yes. Sparkle, really and sparkle. the uh, automatic uh, uh, mortar launcher. Right? And I love like, how casual that is. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just slung over her shoulder it in is. the back. My favorite is definitely her tail. The tail oh, the is my great. favorite part. The oh, way it's detail. done. It's pretty. The detail. Well, the color of it. Because uh, we were trying to show that, like, her scales are slightly have an iridescent thing going. Which is why in some pictures they look kind of purple other pictures they look blue and in other pictures they look different shades of green uh from no. scales i just cheated i just used a brush that's like yeah i just that's, you could just draw I love, scales i love, I love, I love that. oh nice i, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. clip studio for shit I wish I had like that. that. <laughs> yeah. that's why yeah. i love clip studio <laughs> it's taking me another hour to do that oh yeah. i see <laughs> well 
I do appreciate the utilitarianness of it because uh, he has shown how that breasticles can be very useful in securing armament. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that thing and they're kind going of nowhere in the water like they were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. It's very, very nice. Uh, if you guys like what Amaran's done, please vote for him in the straw poll. All right, let's continue moving around. Now we're going over to uh, E. Hawkins. Uh, his name is Eric. Uh, or today he's going to be Enrique. So he's Enrique. <laughs> Enrique. Uh, we still got the squibbly squabblies going on. Um, you know, but uh, she's, she, she's definitely a looker. I, I didn't it didn't get finished, but from what's already there though, the pose is cool. Oh, it is great. Yeah, it's really good. It's um, on model. Thanks. Yeah. The sight our... slowed me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got like uh you put a lot of individual scaling in scales into that one. Yeah. I, I like I like her hair. You know, it kind of looks wet. Nice and wet. <laughs> it does. It does. Now, what what is the um uh what what is the modern version of the M sixteen? What did they go up to? Because that's what you're you've drawn here. Anybody? Uh, I don't know what the modern version is. Yeah. yeah well, it's that one. Thanks. It's it's the up. It's the modern version of the M sixteen. Uh, but um, I don't know what they call it in the military. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it looks really four hundred one A one. Is that what they call it? Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, if you guys like what Eric has done, please vote for him the straw poll. Very, very nice. Also, it also makes me think that if she was in like a show like The Venture Brothers, this is what she'd look like. Oh <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we're finally to my favorite. Ah. Uh-huh. Sebastian smoking a cigar, <laughs> cutting Daddy! him up, cut some sushi. Very nice. Yeah. This is honey, by the way. <laughs> That's adorable. Is she an uh, yeah, animated I... version? <laughs> oh, I love cigar. Yeah. This cigar band's so cool. <laughs> it yeah. is cool, yeah. yeah. Of course, it would add another hour of work, I'm sure, but uh, uh, having the sushi in there would have been great. But that's a lot of work. I was trying. No, Originally, this was like a is this like a whetstone? He's sharpening his little claw blade. Yeah, I get it. And I was in the middle of adding some frames with him, grabbing some sushi off off frame, and putting it on the tape when he'd be chopping it. Actually, you could just render the inside of the blade to look like a sushi pattern, and then just have him go bloop every time he goes down on it, and it would no, probably work. It's it's extra work. Uh, it's only you know she's only got yeah, but that's true. It's, it's better amazing. color. I was right? gonna yeah. say yeah, I'm impressed yeah. with the amount of animation within that time. Yeah, like, yeah the smoke. I I tried and I suck at. <laughs> Well, I love the focused uh, nature of it. I mean, he is very serious yeah. at what he's doing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, yeah. it's very, very good. <laughs> and the very colors cool. are really nice, too. And I uh, used the reference. I think I got pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he is a lobster. And, and I'm kind of curious as Oh, to... he's a crab. No, he's a lobster. Um, he's a crab. What are you talking He's a lobster. This what is isn't, wrong this with isn't, you? This isn't SpongeBob. <laughs> You, you you know you know that he is missing the main thing that would make him a lobster, right? <laughs> yes, it would one he has one though. No, he, does, he doesn't have his the tail, the part you eat. Oh that part. The tail. Maybe it got yeah. lost. That would well, be the just, main thing that would make him a lobster. I and I think he would die without that it because that's yeah. where most his legs are. <laughs> yeah. uh, but nevertheless, it's really cool. If you guys like what she's done, please vote for her in the straw poll. All right, let's move over here to Rabbit, and he's created uh, a terror. Yep. Yeah, Very completely good. different direction from like everybody. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like the idea of the the angler fish and the and the and the the maw. But considering we do not have a reference for her, he's pretty spot on. Like <laughs> so she uses she uses powers to try and keep herself looking sexy and more like a mermaid. Uh but when she uses too much, basically like it almost like fey glamour. So oh, I see. when her when her fey glamour fades she does have a giant ass mouth with, you know, the, the giant teeth uh, starts appearing. Um, she'll look 
uh, the top part of her will look less human. She'll start and look more anglerfish. So it, this is pretty, this nailed it pretty good. Yeah, it's really good as usual. Uh, I love the glow, and I love the uh, mm. the side of the jo the uh, the inside of the mouth. You because it's a it's a the glow from the uh, angler uh, uh, lure is uh, actually you can see through the skin. It's really good. Yeah, I love the detail and just like the the tiny detail on like each tooth is detailed. The drool, like yeah, yeah, it's super cool. And he also put in Poseidon's trident in there. That was a nice touch. Very nice. Uh, all right. Well, if you guys mm -hmm. like what uh, Rabbit has done, please vote for him the straw poll. Very, very nice. Uh, let's move on here. We did get ourselves an Alan in here from the Howl Comics, and uh, he he uh, he represented Freckles and all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Freckles. Now that's a Tommy Ready? gun. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for for Tommy guns. Like I know they suck, but like. I loved them in like old game they movies cool. and stuff, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> I just think they look so iconic. So I love that she has one. <laughs> oh shit! <Hey>. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah dude, that gets bonus points for presentation. Pasta. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yeah. Pasta. Yeah. That's great. Now that's and outside metal, of right? that, like she's got like like classic classic comic book look to her too. She so does. I dig. Yeah, the hit, the yeah. heroine uh, uh, stance and everything. Yeah. Yeah. What song is that? Who, that? who who did that version? Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a band called Power Glove. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, Power Club's great. I love Power Club. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, not much to say here. Uh, looks it great. Accomplished all that in two hours is pretty cool. <laughs> it is cool what they do yeah. in two hours, yeah. Uh, but uh, thank you all very much for that. And uh, if you like what he did, then, uh, you know, vote from the straw poll. And uh, let's see yeah. here. Uh, I'm not seeing Gabby. She hadn't returned, uh, unfortunately. She posted in draw along. Yeah, no, I'll go look for it. But it's unfortunate. Uh, we get we get her so rarely these days. Uh, but you know uh, what? I didn't see her in the chat, and I forgot to put her in the poll. So oh. don't. Well, she was wow. she was in there for a bit. But... No, she was here most of the time. Bad Jeff. Yeah. Bad Jeff. I'm bad. Let's see if I can add it in the last you're, minute. You're bad. Uh, all right. Hey, let Jeff. me uh, let boy. me come over here and uh, take a look at. Uh... <clears throat> oh no, she's in there. She's in there. Oh good. Sorry. Let's yeah. take a look at you. What are you talking about? So uh, let me let me read it here. Uh, so uh, uh, mermaids are abominations. Their lives are to be wasted. Their blood is to be spilled. Let's erase them all. Prince Allah Al Din Al Babwa. That's hilarious. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Johan. Wow. <laughs> wow. I like how so different it is. He normally does you. such nice drawings. <laughs> it's a beautiful Good drawing. Why monetization. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's not too much. No, it's not too much. It's perfect. Yeah, it's just, it's just right. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I love the whole thing with it. But uh, still, for me, it's Apu. It's that is right? insanely creative. Abu, insanely Abu. Creative. Abu, Abu. I thought it was curious. Apu. 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 That's the Simpsons oh, guy. Apu is oh, the Simpsons guy. Apu. Yeah. Apu. <laughs> so Abu, okay, uh, Abu. but um, he's uh, he's working on it. He's he's trying his best to figure that camera out, dude. <laughs> yeah. I like that he looks like it's Curious George cosplay. It, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, yes, this is horrific. Awesome. Uh, so uh, if you guys like what Johan has done, please vote for the straw poll because it's epic. And he's, you know, this is just pure cheating, Johan. You know you're going to win because of this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, but anyway, let me go over here and find Gabby's. Con uh, controversy sells. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, let me go to the draw alongs here. Uh, all right. Yeah. Ooh, got a lot of has been all along. stuff. 
Uh, I let me see. Uh, there's uh, Eric drew uh, uh, a bear and a kiwi in in Paris. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's unrelated, but uh, I'll show it anyway. That's an old one. The, that, was, that, was, that was part from. of a discussion. Yeah. Uh, I was cleaning out some folders. Like, where did I, why'd I draw this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I like it, though, so I'm going to show it. Oh, that's there it is. There's me in Paris with my little pet kiwi, my little pet booster kiwi. Oh. Got my eyeballs. It's nice. Very, very nice. Unrelated, however. Uh, so let's get into it here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I got some draw along stuff, uh, but I need to find Gabby. There it is. Oh, this is great. She, uh, Gabby did it in the <laughs> style of a tattoo. I like it. There. Yeah, I dig that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Awesome. Uh, hey there, sailor. <laughs> very nice. Uh, she got a little gun there. She got the angle there. This is definitely a tattoo. I like it. Yeah. Can you see yeah. this one? Uh, this is uh, uh, um, in my sharing. Can you see it? Or in my sharing? I'm probably not sharing. Let me do so. I oh, I'm just I... looking at him in the draw. Yeah, no, I didn't share. It's my fault. Let me let me do that. <laughs> here, here we go. Alrighty. There you go. Now you guys can see what I'm showing. Let me go back over. Yeah, that's great. Really good. Nice, Gabby. Good job. That is so cute. Yep. It is cute. Yeah. It that's is a, super cute. Yeah, cool tattoo. Oh, <clears throat> it would yeah. be. Yeah. It would be. I kind of I kind of want to <laughs> I think it'd be kind, perfect kind on my right bit. buttock. <laughs> Should be a stretch goal for a pixel. What would the if he reaches a certain say? goal, he gets that tattoo. Dude, I will get that tattoo if we reach like a certain amount. <laughs> nice tattoo, Chester son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, very nice. So. Uh, there you go, guys. There's are all our artists. So uh, go over and vote on the straw poll. And whilst you do that, I'm going to take a look at the draw along. Uh, I could start anywhere in the draw uh, uh, stuff that's come in, but I'm I'm starting with Pablo because you know yeah. Pablo. Yeah. Damn. Ooh. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, Pablo is pretty amazing. Um, but um, uh, this reminds me a lot of those kind of 70 era, you know, action, you know, spy cop movie type thing. Yeah, this would make a really cool poster, too. Yeah, it would be. He hadn't finished all his coloring and stuff, but uh, but yeah, no, it's awesome. That's nice. Look at the hair, man. Mm. That's, yeah, the that's hair is accurate really good. for wet hair, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really, really good, Pablo. Uh, yeah, no, that's excellent. Uh, so we've got Pablo's there. Uh, we, I will, I'll do this on the other side. Uh, we got, uh, Jason Gonzalez, our Thunder Rat, of course. Uh, and he's, uh, he's got his, uh, uh, little sketch he's done here. She's got herself one of those, uh, tech, I can't remember what those guns are called. Uh, but, uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. I, like I, hope, I hope he finishes it. Because I really sometimes. like the movement in this. So I hope he finishes, uh... Maybe. Yeah, it is really cool. <laughs> it is really cool. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, let's see here. We also have, uh, well, JD's trying to up his game a little bit. And uh, we have uh, his uh, uh, static version here. And, uh, you know, she's just uh, looking at the ship off in the distance and uh, wondering who she needs to kill next. Very nice. Uh, but he also <laughs> created a bit of a video. Let me see. Uh, and uh, of showing himself. I don't know. Can I? I can't do that, I think. Yeah, it won't show it. Uh, but you can see it in the uh, draw along, though. He created a video of showing how he put it together. Those are always fun. Uh, so this is from oh, cool. JD. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, TV? other yeah. than that, we have Doug's, which I'll catch on the other side. But uh, very, very nice. <laughs> so we got uh, these draw alongs. We do appreciate them. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, all right. Let me go over and uh, take a look at Doug's on the Twitter. All righty. So uh, what do we got here? Um, <laughs> what is it? Someone has fallen down. Is that Joe Biden? Damn it. It's Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he fell down. Oh, God. Said he tripped on a sandbag. Why? Yeah. Why? What? Assassination attempt. 
you know, we were so. we were so fortunate. You know, we had just north of us Justin Trudeau, who's one of the most embarrassing men in history, and then we went and elected this guy. God, uh, we well, got him. Well, you know, we got a one up. I think, I think elected is a light term. <laughs> we yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, you know, we yeah. win again. Goodness yeah, gracious. take that, Canada. Try I to love out embarrass yourself. Right. Out embarrass us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love the dude in the back. He thinks it's the funniest thing, dude. You just lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your pot job. Dude. <laughs> hey, handsome boy. <laughs> That's kind of cool thing. I love seeing Kelsey's <laughs> stuff. Oh, what in the hell are you doing, Paris? It's not well, good for you. Paris. What? It looks like normal Paris to me. Oh, is it real or it's uh, model? I mean, who knows? Yeah. Oh, it's 3D it looks model. Real, doesn't it? Yeah. it looks like a 3D yeah. model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Maybe. 3D model. Um, but, I thought uh, they were trying to make Mario Kart track. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. yeah that would have been fun. <laughs> right? I was like, well, that could be fun. <laughs> oh, great. You know, more more, more people being, being stupid. All right, cool. Uh, ooh. Mm. Gloomhaven. Great game, by the way. Board game. If you had MC played it, you should buy it. Nice. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I don't know what that is. The LL Cool, cool J. J. I don't know what yeah. that is. <laughs> Ancient I, LL Cool J. Dumb. Uh, uh, Magic the I Gathering so decided done. to make yeah. Aragon a black guy. Is like, what? I technically like got done with Magic oh, the Gathering hey. when they started using like. Oh, Random boom! Like down, he <laughs> down he goes. Down he goes. Down he goes. We'll have to full screen Ooh. this one. Wait, watch it again. I missed it. Yeah, no. Here we go. Here we go. Let me bring it back up. Yay, President. Yay, and boom! Down he goes. Yay, and everyone loves it. This would be the perfect time for a Let's Go Brandon. Wait, it? everyone's cheering. Why did it take, why did it take three guys so long to pick him up? Well, I know everyone was cheering. they had to finish funny. laughing. Yeah. Yeah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, they're all cheering. Yep. They're all cheering. <laughs> you like it. The President of the United States, everyone. Yeah, I, there, there, I, he pointed at it. It was that thing, that flat ground there. That thing. The flat right ground. The hell with the flat ground. Oh, <laughs> Pop left it there. Yeah. Cornbop was a bad dude. dude. <laughs> no, dude, no. Trump did it. Cornbop was Trump a bad dude. It. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, bad there dude. it was. He's <laughs> wearing his Nike corn pops. I'm glad that made my day. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, lady. Ooh, Warlord Games. Miniature Wargaming. It's great fun. Uh, you look familiar. I think your name is Eddie Murphy. Are you going to be the new uh, uh, Pink Panther? That would be weird. Uh, he's he's really young. Yeah, Murphy. Is oh, he? there she is. That is so there odd. There she is. Yeah, no. Uh, the thing it's about this scene is really Aquafina singing is it's so bad, dude. And she doesn't care. Really? Yeah. I uh, thought you know, she was a good singer. Aquafina? No. This girl oh. is. I think this girl's a great singer. But Aquafina's oh, singing. Okay. She's the bird is singing. Yeah. Um but the oh, uh, oh, the bird's supposed to sing shitty. She well, needs to get her eyes fixed. They, yeah, well, no, that's that's you know, the that's Eric. the whole gimmick with the bird is that the bird sings very <laughs> shitty. That's so then they Eric, yes. Eric, Eric, she was cast because she, she, she looks like a fish. She's fine. No, that's true. My wife said that. Well, she does look like a fish. I was like, very good. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah, first time I saw her. She does look like a fish. She does. Yeah. So that that's good casting <laughs> once again. I know. I hear she's yeah. actually a great singer. So. Oh, yeah. all I know is the the whole gag is that the bird is supposed to be really shit at singing. Well, okay, cool. So hopefully it's supposed to sound really far. <laughs> you know, well, the Lion King. Awesome. I really don't think we're going to find anything better than, you know, Joe Biden on the ground. So uh, here we go. <laughs> I, I was going to say, were we looking at picture? No, nah, we are. We yeah, have, uh, yeah. I just, I like to see what's going on on Twitter. The only he time I check is once on the a show. Week. Yeah, hmm. it's my fault. Oh, uh, okay. So, cheater. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and we just got Doug stuff. So uh, Doug is not a crab. He liked the idea of uh, Sebastian as well, which I get. It's a great idea. Oh, I love this you know. <laughs> almost SpongeBob looking version. Like on the barrel. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, I love this uh, on the love barrel. This. He's got the scar over his eye. It's perfect. 
Uh, and of course, we also have a music uh, uh, entourage to go with it. Heavy metal. Hey! It's like oh, a wow. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Look, you put a water effect, but it makes it look like it's melting. <laughs> That awesome. Is okay. awesome as always. As always, yeah. That's Another cool. one of those like bonus points for presentation kind of deal. <laughs> oh yeah, Doug. Well, I have to say, uh, Doug clearly likes your uh, project because if he doesn't, he you can tell. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But not anime. No, that's true. He can't stay in the anime. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very very nice. And Boy, oh, awesome. looking! My Twitter is got. I'm Grandpa. I'm Grandpa Monster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Yes, it is nice. Uh, all right, let me uh, go ahead and vote myself. Uh, so let me see. Here. Oh right, voting. Shoot, I, I should vote. <laughs> yeah. Voting. Yeah. yeah, go vote. All right, so who won Drawn a Quarter Fan Edition AR 13L Merc Made Competition? Because that's supposed to be ADL. I get it. I get wait, it. Wait, wait! I didn't vote. <laughs> Yeah, go vote. What are you doing? It's in the chat. I was yeah. looking at the other stuff you was looking at. That's okay. You have time because I'm going to read through it here. All right. So I have a choice to make, and my choices are Andrew, I will not bend to peer pressure, Fleming. Spelled as a Love peer, it. Not, you know, Yeah. You know, <laughs> an interesting intentional misspelling from Jeff. That's That's rare. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, but I can wow. Go with that. Uh, or I could go with the uh, don't. I misspell Alan's name once, uh, <laughs> seven times. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, uh, don't make an enemy of me. I'm run. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. That's that's clever. You get two points. No, uh, okay, two points. You get two points for that. Two points. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Amy. I'm not coy about liking mermaids, Lester. Wink. Nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. He's, he's pretty good today. Jeff's on, uh, yeah, on his game. Mm-hmm. He's on his game. Always are. But... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's hey. see if he keeps it up. Well, coy don't live in the, in the sea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coy. Coy. Coy, coy. Uh, okay. Koi, koi. Uh, <laughs> fish, yeah, right? koi, koi, yeah, koi, yeah. But uh, we can spell it with a C instead of a K, and then a Y instead of an I, and it becomes koi. Yeah. It's clever. It's clever. I love these puns a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, me too. Of course, we could also pick Eric. I'm drawing zombies for the halibut. Hawkins. <laughs> I, I think you missed your calling, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> they are good, actually. They're they're working very well. Uh, Melissa, sometimes animations give me a headache, Lester. <laughs> <laughs> mm, excellent, that excellent, went, excellent. That one it went a little sideways. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the best ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one doomed nice bass rabbit. I understand the spelling, but I pronounced it the way he wanted me to, rabbit, so don't blame me. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yes, yes. Uh, Alan, Please. my art is krilling it tonight, Alonzo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 nice Popeye. Yeah. Uh, Johan, yeah. sole Whoa. Indonesian in the contest, Alexander. No jokes at all. Oh, sole. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, then, of course, we have. want his head chopped off. Right. Uh, oof, oof, oof. There's, there's definitely issues there. Uh, uh, Gabrielle, new squids on the block, Getsky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yes. It's cute. Uh, nice. I grew up in the age of new kids on the block, and they can keep them. Although we'll take Marky Mark, though. Yeah, step by step, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like Marky Mark. I like Mark. He, he, he went on to do something actually useful with his life. Yeah. Uh, anyway, which one do I pick? Oh, that's easy, Johan. Very creepy. Yes, uh, no, I'm Aww. sure he's. I'm sure he. He his cheating has got garnered him a win today. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty confident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah, by a pretty large margin. Yeah, pretty large margin. Damn. Yeah, it's, pretty, oh. it's pretty interesting. Yeah, my you know, friends refused to vote for me. 
They're saying I'm cheating. So, <laughs> oh, fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, you know what I'm curious about? Uh, like I said, after the fact, over the next so many days, a lot of people are going to watch this video, right? Um, and I'm wondering, do they go back and vote after the fact? Who knows? <laughs> That's know. a funny the world thing. may never know. I've never checked it. Oh, what go look at last week's video real quick and click on the link. See what the votes are. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, see, see what it is. Because I, I don't please. know if the poll goes anywhere. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it has a time limit. Uh, Eric will find out. Uh, but nevertheless, thank you all for coming in. It was a lot of fun. Uh, of course, we'll give uh, 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 Piper here a chance to talk about the project uh, at the uh, end of the show. Uh, but uh, for right now, I want to thank you. Say thank you to Melissa, Eric, Andrew, Gabrielle, Alan, Amy, Rabbit, uh, and Amron. Thank you all for coming in. We love your art, and thank you to all the people who drew along and join us in here to uh, uh, enjoy this project. But of course, today's winner is the Johan from the Alexandria. <laughs> Claps, everyone! Yay. Claps! Yay. Claps! <laughs> Claps! <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, good. Very nice. So uh, he he will be sent to whatever show that uh, uh, I'm not sure if still isn't is. happening. Yeah, isn't <laughs> yes. happening. Uh, but he's our winner in our heart. Uh, so uh, and it was great. That was that was like epic. So let me bring it back up and so we can look at it again. And, what a great uh, idea! It was a great. I, idea. I know, super creative. It was. I'm just wondering okay. what dark place of his mind it's coming from. <laughs> what have you seen, Johan? What, what have you have seen? You seen, sir. Yeah, uh, I think racism uh, wins in the end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the monkey. Yeah, we got six more votes. We did. This week. Well, interesting. Oh, yeah. oh. All right, there you go. No, maybe. So, uh, congratulations, Johan. Uh, very nice piece. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just perfect because it, it doesn't take but a second or two to realize that it is supposed to be Aladdin. Uh, the, the, the uh, aerial mermaid is is clear, uh, but the it's still the Abu is you know I love his he's so worried that he's not going to be able to do it properly. The monkey is so concerned. Look at him. He has, and it's not yeah. about the the impending death of someone either. It's about the camera. Yeah, oh honestly, God, yeah. I think my favorite part is the fact that they are on the magic carpet. <laughs> yeah, no, that too. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah no, it was great. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, I love the fact that he's holding a gun up instead of a machete. I guess that would have been a bit touch too dark. I think I, I just I just uh, use uh, the method of the Piper here, creating a uh, mermaid. It's, I think it's create, very creative too. So I just want to extrapolate the idea. Yes, you did. Another... You extrapolated Aww. all over it. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's the... You, you first, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 all right. We gotta have a throw down right here, yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully, right. likes to rip the ears off. I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, but uh, there you no, go. I'll add awesome. to your next project. It is awesome. Uh, yeah, but if you touch his buddy, let you. He leaves you alone. So, uh -huh. well, no. Now, oh, now, you know, the problem is, Johan, you set a precedent now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, precedent? good luck. Uh -oh. Yeah, uh, but uh, and Rabbit's working on his uh, uh, Wednesday here. Yeah, very nice. Uh, but anyway, thank you all very much. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let everybody talk about what they're doing now. Piper, we're going to come to you at the end, and I will uh, uh, I will show the page again, unless you want to share some photos or something. Uh, I'll some just, art. I'll, no. I'll talk at the end and oh yeah i'll just show uh, the page yeah cool. i'll show the page um so uh, all right uh, but i'll I'm come tired, to you at the I'm end sorry. no 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 problem so uh of course we start in uh, alphabetical order which uh, is andrew andrew all right well if you guys would like to check out more of my art you can head to solariansun.com where you can read my webcomic for free uh this week we are up to page 252 for free that's uh, that's Dang. that's the start of uh, chapter nine. And if you would like to subscribe and become a member, you can get up to page five hundred and seventy-six this week. Uh, that the that will be posted up on Saturday. Uh, you can catch me at uh, what is it? Uh, Contropolis, Slide? Massachusetts. Yeah. You can catch me at Contropolis, Massachusetts from June 16th to the 18th, where I'll be selling the physical copy of the book, Volumes 1 and 2, uh, along with a bunch of other Solarian Sun merch. And 
Other than that, you can find me on Street Fighter because it just dropped an, about an hour ago, and Street Fighter Six is, is ready to play. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go do some of that. <laughs> you and Rabbit can hang out. Yeah, that's right. I don't I don't have it. I don't buy I don't buy new games. <laughs> it just oh, dropped right now. So. What game? What game was it again? Street Fighter Six, but Street Fighter Five was awful. So I don't know <laughs> if I'll buy it. So we'll see. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't know it dropped. Yeah, but I haven't. I have. I got to catch up. I know that the uh, big companies are dropping their uh, their uh, presentations this month. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, cool. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome, Amy. Oh. Hi. Thanks for coming to see us, everyone. Always fun, and we're looking forward to. Do we know what we're doing next week? Hmm. Street Fighter oh. Six. Street Fighter Six. Yeah, let's just <laughs> fire. That'd be good. We can all just throw cami. Yeah. No, no, no that's it. No, pausing unless it's the first Street Fighter. I don't think we've done Street Fighter yet, have we? I don't think so. I don't know. No, we definitely. You don't think we did it once on my channel? We've done it. Oh, that might be it. Might be on Windows on there. We've done it though. That's a great idea. We definitely. Oh, we should do Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's nice. new diversity characters for you guys to draw. Anyway, Amy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well then, Street Fighter. That sounds cool. Nothing else comes up. Oh, I might have to get out. Ooh, yeah, go play some old games. That's a good reason to go play some old games. Sounds awesome. So, thanks for coming to see us. Awesome, you guys. And let's see. Yeah, um, our usual thing with the games is going on, and that's going to be really exciting. So... Programming, yay! But we also got our studio redone, so that's working now. So yay! Oh. Stuff to check out. So it's it's all moving in the right direction. But thanks for coming to cheer us on. Go oh, enjoy the art and just give us a chance to hang out with you and everybody here every week. It's just been awesome. So have a good night, everyone. Thank you very much. And I hope someone does Cammy next week. She never gets enough. Of have, it's always chun. Yeah. yeah, Cammy's my favorite. Uh, Cammy, Cammy's it's always my Cammy. Character. Yeah, no, we need <laughs> more Cammy. More cami. We'll just draw E Honda. Oh, we'll just draw E Honda. Must be Honda. I bet you he'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna get anyway. you, I'm gonna draw you some uh, Blanca, but I don't know what you're oh, talking yeah, about. Blanca, oh, yeah. Yeah, Blanca, there's, there's a lot of cool. Characters. He's my favorite character, uh, Blanca. Honey, yeah, I played him all the time. <laughs> honey. Hi. Uh, oh, oh gosh, things are a little quiet on the media front. You know, it's our bad, but. Oh gosh, that doesn't mean we're not planning something that exciting days aren't coming. <laughs> we're very excited about the future and we really look forward to sharing it with all y'all. Uh, that's going to be on, if you, if you want to say, what do I already share that? Is it's going to be on our website on zkim.com. We've got social media links and. Yep, so we're going to have to get rebuilt and moved over to a new yeah. server soon. So. We know it's a little funky, but it's like we're slow, but we're not, <laughs> we're not giving up. We're definitely going to make a more exciting multimedia experience for our friends and people who just want to find out more about games mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. It's a, it's a good future for everyone, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. So, uh, yeah, God, God bless. Well, thank you very much, Melissa. Uh, now, I'm kind of curious because I'm in the rainy season here, and, of course, it's going to be starting over there for you as well. And uh, we've already mm -hmm. ha had the first typhoon of the year thrown at us, and we usually get an average oh, of 20 of That's them. Great. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. you know, nice. Uh, but um, uh, you guys got any storms incoming in Florida yet? Um, I don't think our hurricane season's usually until closer to the fall. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Or at least late summer, yeah. yeah. We're getting our we're getting back to the normal like uh afternoon thunderstorm. Not every day yet. Yeah. But they're starting to crop up. <laughs> yep. It gets hot enough to and during the day to evaporate enough off of the lakes that it'll dump it down later in the afternoon. Like, okay, thank you. Yeah. Every well, day I, for about thirty minutes. Well, I lived in Mobile, Alabama for a while. Uh and yeah. Uh, the interesting thing, because it's all swamp, it's just Alabama is basically a giant swamp. Um, and right. uh, yeah, um, every Florida, day Louisiana. around 1 p.m. in the afternoon, it rained for 10 minutes every day. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Florida, so Florida yeah, was to like people, one to three. I used to tell people in Louisiana, uh -huh. you could set the set your watch mm -hmm. by the rainstorms, like very really yeah. brief rainstorms. <laughs> yeah, same with Florida. It was great. Yeah. And then when it, it actually awful, rained, it you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. <laughs> it has to get it all down in 10 minutes after all. 
And, <laughs> well, you know, one of the coolest, I mean, in nature, there's always cool things we can see. But one of the interesting things, I, I moments I had was sitting in my grandpa's and uh, we were having like a barbecue and uh, uh, he had one of those kind of covered, I don't want to call it a deck, patios, a uh, big giant thing. Um, anyway, uh, we're a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous day, right? And uh, off in the distance, coming from the swamp, there was a wall of water. And it just crept, oh, cool. you know, came at us over the course of a minute or two. And then we were just under torrential rainfall. Uh, but just seeing it literally walk toward you was quite interesting. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That well, anyway, so cool. thank you very much. Uh, who am I going to go now? Oh, Amaron. Uh, Hi, Amaron. <laughs> what did you eat today? Hello. Subway. Subway. Ooh, nice. nice. Well, I usually get a tuna fish. I like tuna fish at Subway. What do you like? Uh, I like a steak and cheese. Uh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Subway's That's not so bad. I enjoy Subway. Uh, I actually have access to one of those in a city about an hour and a half north of me. So, uh, oh wow, that's a long way to get Subway. Yeah, well, I I work not if you really like Saturday, Subway. So you know, <laughs> I am in, there. You go. Uh, I am in charge of the Oita City uh, uh, English uh, 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 English Club. Oh, oh yes. yes. I was nominated, which is weird because I literally live an hour and a half away. And I said, you know, why don't you just hire locals? There are, Akai was here, there are foreigners here. We got a big university that has a bunch of them. Why don't you just fire, a, you know, hire a, a local? Why, why are you dragging, you know, my ass all the way up here uh, once a week? And they said, because they're always late. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Thanks, I guess. Oh, so my goodness. My punctuality wins the day. Um, yeah. Yes. But and you it's lose in the much. end. But I lose in the end. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh well. But the kids are great. I like the kids. So you know, Aww, they have a good time. Go. I. I. And uh, I, I. They laugh and they have a good old time, which is bad because it 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 it, it creates job security, which I really don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but you do get the tuna sub, right? Uh, sometimes, yeah. <clears throat> there, there, uh, there's some other restaurants I tend to frequent other than Subway, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, but uh, it, when I'm uh, kind of in those grunge, you know, uh, uh, lazy days, that's Subway day. So There you uh, go. Oh, you can make some extras and bring them home and keep them in the fridge. I do. As a matter of fact, the, the when I usually eat Subway is my wife is up in the city and she's b- doing banking for her business. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, she'll stop by and pick up Subways on the way home. That's how I usually eat it, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've sent my secretary a banking on several times, and she ever brought me a subway? Hmm? Once? Once? No. Yes? Never. Ever. No. Never. No love for your secretary no. at all. Anyway, uh, I'm no. wrong. This is awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Who wish you? Oh, we got Eric. First thing I've drawn in weeks, too. Like, uh, it's the first thing I've drawn in the oh, really? last couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice. really good, dude. Yeah. Eric. Uh, well, uh, this is going to be my last week on the show for two weeks. I'm what? coming back in two weeks. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> I just got, I just got oh, stuff no. I got to get done. Um, so That's Vestry right. 5 should be showing up next week for me to ship out. Nice. Uh, I got to get yeah. my book right. out to the editor. My son's coming into town next week with his family, so nice. I'm taking a couple of weeks off from oh. some of the streaming stuff. Uh, oh. But I'll be back. Um, just getting stuff finished up and off printers and stuff like that and that's all i've been up to that's cool no i gotta enjoy your family dude uh my son just yeah. came back from his tokyo training and he's starting with uh, uh with the company now uh but uh it, it, he he wanted to take mom and dad out to dinner oh nice yeah dad was nice though i i, I didn't pick an expensive place <laughs> oh you're sweet. subway no, yeah. we went to. A, uh, uh, we went to a, I know this a, great a, restaurant an hour and a half away. Right. We went to Jimmy John's. <laughs> well, we did meet him halfway. We did go up to the city, uh, and uh, but uh, no, we went to his uh, uh, yakitoria, uh, and it was pretty good. So nice. Yeah, it was oh, nice. And he brought his good. girl along. We got to talk to her again. She's a sweet kid. Oh, Aww. I see. <laughs> yeah, they haven't announced. So- he said this summer they 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 think they're going to come down and announce to the grandparents, which is really who they need to tell. You know. But but uh, right. uh, they've already uh, got an, a, a, an apartment together. They bought a car together. So, I mean, I don't know when the marriage will happen, but I would assume within the next year or so. 
Oh, I hope so. Yeah. It sounds like they're very well matched and happy they've together. Been, they've been together for a while um, uh, mm. uh, through university time. She works for the government now. And uh, yeah, oh. it's a pretty good setting for them because you know she's got a solid job that gives a great pension, of course, because government work. And you know he's sure. going to make Boku dollars from what he does. So yeah, hey. no, they're they're good. I'm not, it's good for me because I don't have to stress about him. I just got to worry about the girl. <laughs> I think you probably would anyway. That's true, but I've been. You do realize I've been paying for their lives for many years. All expenses. <laughs> so it would be very nice. It'd be nice for me not to have to pay for one of them, which is what's happening. So I mean, I, I'm, I'm slightly excited. There you go. Yeah. I got your dinner. Chester's yeah, getting a raise. I am getting a raise in a way. <laughs> well, dude, I mean, it, you're paying for tuition. You're paying for books. You're paying for the apartment. You're paying for water, phone, a, a plus pocket money. Oh, that's right. For, uh, for, for everything for two years, dude. I mean, not two years, two people over the course of oh. what has it been? Eight years? Yeah. Well, oh, I was going to say that's a really fast degree. We can get it in two years. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> he, he went for the master's program, uh, which is, I had to force him to do, by the way. He's like, yeah, dad, really? I don't need it. I got my four year degree. It's good. I don't need it. And I was like, yeah, no. And he's like, well, really, dad? I said, I'm paying for it. Fine. Okay. And then after the fact, he came in because he's making way more money now. He's like, thanks, Dad. Aww. Yeah. He invested in his future. That's I great. Did. I did. You know, Dad knows best. And what did I get paid for it? Yakitori. Very nice. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll be waiting for you to come back, Eric. Uh, <laughs> Rabbit. Yeah. Hi. Oh, go to bed, Rabbit. <laughs> No, I'm all right. Um, I don't really have anything. Um, go go and listen to my music on Spotify. There we go. I put that acoustic track up in there last week. Yeah, this Wednesday is great. Uh, album coming soon. That's uh, still. What's what's good? Sorry. Wednesday. Oh, that. Yeah, I just did that. Start that sketch the other night for an hour. I was like, I might just work on it a bit, but I'm too tired. So I did a little bit. <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah, I still. I really does. need do need to check it out. Uh, I, I just, uh, I really prefer uh, the young Wednesday. You know, yeah, everyone's saying it's good though. What was that? No, oh, it, it it's was good. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's Tim Burton, so you know it's going to be all right. Yeah. Well, it's not nice mm. to girl. He's made some. Well, no, he did flop. do Planet of the Apes. That was freaking awful. That was. He did more than that. Movie. That was a flop, but you know. Yeah. Well, I don't know what else. Maybe I missed all the other flops, but I like all his all his proper gothic style movies, yeah. which isn't many actually. I suppose. Yeah. I know. I just needed. I just need to get over it. I guess. You just watch it, or you don't watch it. I mean, it's not many episodes. That's true. <laughs> but it's just the the menace of the little girl is 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 the fun. I know what you know. I do know what you mean. I I hundred percent agree. The Adam's Family too. She's great in the second in that. Um, in the movies, although the movies, when you rewatch them, are so stupid, in in a good way. Right? Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. Well, anyway, in the best way. Much, That's true. Uh, let's see. Where am I now? I'm over here. Oh, uh, I. You know, one one of these days, I'm going to have to create a backtrack for uh, uh, Cheech and Chong's Mexican American for you, Alan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Love nothing but right. love. Cheech and Chong is nothing but love. We need more Cheech and Chong. We need more love. <laughs> love is That's a Taco Bell. Um, well, those cool. of you who haven't che seen Cheech and Chong, I suggest you go watch it because you know. Yes, I awesome. do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the Corsican brothers. <laughs> That's the <laughs> best one. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dave, like nice dreams. Dave. Okay. Anyway, uh, Alan, go ahead. Uh, well, um, right now I'm just working on a bunch of stuff in the background. So if you want to support anything like the Zade brothers do, I work a lot for them. I'm mm. all over their projects. Um, I'm working for uh, Edwin too. I'm working on the Ace Volume Three at the moment. Mm. And um, what mm. else? You can check out my own comic that's on uh, Amazon. I'm coming out with the, uh, the sequel pretty soon. I'm uh, working on that every day, do a little piece at a time. Mm. I'm also getting into gang fights and uh, like white girls named Debbie and uh, I have a <laughs> like, oh named Chata and Chama mm -hmm. and uh, I, get, I get a B in Spanish and uh, <laughs> oh, good. Uh, That's good. 
You know? And uh, <laughs> teach your own Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is not how they say points. it in Spain. Por favor. Because I'm Mexican American. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is such a good, a good bit. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, you know the funny thing was when I went to school. I'm sure everybody has a similar story. Uh, in America, your language teachers tend to actually be able to speak the language because they tend to be from there. At least when, where I was in school, and uh, uh, therefore the Spanish teacher in school was an actual, you know, uh, immigrant and Mexican guy, and he was the best. He was short and round, and he loved the sombrero. Oh, nice. No, he was such a cool man. I love that guy. Uh, you know, the, we all have memories of teachers that leave an impression on us, and he was one of them. He was a really nice guy. <laughs> I love that guy. That's so cool. Yeah, and my history and teacher, he everyone cool. hated her because she was so strict. I loved her. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, Going in teacher, uh, you love history. I do. My Latin I teacher do. was a hilarious <laughs> monk. <laughs> Yeah, 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 there, as it should be. Uh, my my French teacher was literally in the movie The Great Gatsby. Oh shit! Oh, wow. Which yeah. one? <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, was she yeah. an extra, or did she work in it well, like makeup or something? It was, it was, a, it was oh. a dude. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't think I've had a female language teacher. Really? Huh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, it's school, a majority, I, took, I think I a majority of my language teachers German, are German, Latin, Greek, French. Spanish. No, no, they're all men. Huh. Wow. Even in university, too. Hmm, huh, that is weird. Yeah, especially because yeah. women actually tend to be better at language than men. Huh. Hmm. My French teacher yeah. was a chick. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, women. It's one of the uh, one of the uh, strengths that women have over men is language, um, but uh, but anyway, uh, it, that's not here nor there. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, Johan. No. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, hey. Hi. Are you doing okay? I'm, I'm okay. Did you get it all out? You feel better now? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm still doing for uh, the last two pages for uh, Bonsart, the the comic this time. Maybe I, cool. I don't know whether it's going to be posted on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I don't know, but I'm last two pages, and I I want to say uh, I'm happy that Piper is here. Is her louter her, her louter is uh, full of joy, you know. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, and support his support her project, uh, Ariel the Mermaid. Okay, that's all <laughs> for me. Thank you. Well, thank you, Johan. Aww, and you're, I agree. You so she, her, she has a nice giggle. I agree. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very, very nice. It's like, it's like yes, it, it is. You know, you know, cause we have we have two gigglers. We have uh, the psychotic giggler and the saccharine sweet cute giggler. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, anyway, let me see. Did uh, Gabby get back in? No, she didn't. Uh, oh, let's make right sure. She has to go make dinner for her sister. Oh, that's yep. fine. Uh, oh, she has right. an Instagram. Go follow her on Instagram. Yeah, no, Gabby's awesome, dude. I love Gabrielle yeah. yeah. Um, All right, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, let's let uh, uh, Piper uh, uh, do her 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 bit, uh, and then of course yeah. we'll let uh, Jeff take us out of here. So uh, I will go ahead and share the page uh, whilst she does this. So go ahead. That's the thing. Woo! All right. Uh, everybody should definitely check out uh, AR13L, The Little Mermaid. We pull from uh, Hans Christian Christian Anderson uh, while doing a couple little nods to Disney that we hope we don't get sued for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it is a complete story, but ripe for a sequel. So oh, you're not gonna okay. get left on a cliff. You're not gonna get left on a cliffhanger. But if there's yeah, that never gets more, resolved, <laughs> right? If there's demand for more, I am so ready to write it. Okay, and, but only uh, if you make her black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give give her a really bad spray tan experience. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Justin Trudeau <laughs> style. Yes. Uh, and um. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. So on Fun My Comic, which is a fairly new platform, we are in a race with a couple of other books to be the first one to hit five figures. 
uh, on this platform. So we're really, really trying. And, and I promised that if we won that race, if we are the first to hit 10K, I will offer more sketch cards because I'm the only one that only offered four out of the team. <laughs> Oh, the other two offered fifth. Yeah, the other two offered fifteen, and at first, mine was up there at fifteen, and I saw that, and I was like, "You're gonna have to send me like five hundred of those special little uh, sketch cards in order for me to give you fifteen good ones." <laughs> I would, but I would I found, trade the sketch. I would trade the sketch cards to see that somebody get the tattoo instead. That'd be great. That would get be a yeah. tattoo. Yeah. Okay, right. if we win the if we win the race. I will get that tattoo or a version of that <laughs> tattoo or something. I will get the Merc made tattooed on me somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. That's promise. It's in stone now. Yeah. yeah. I uh, already have tattoos, so any excuse to get more ink is like, okay, okay there cool. There you go. There you go. That makes sense. <laughs> Everyone uh, mind. All right. So That's cool. Uh, I'm going to play the uh, I'm going to play the trailer here real quick. And uh, we already seen it. Uh, I'll just play it again. Uh, it's Jimmy. properly timed. Good job, Pixel. Very nice. Like Not a little wave long. there. Uh, there Music's go. good. Oh, nice. Metal yeah. clips. Yeah. Death clock. <laughs> Get some talking in the background. Step it. Well, that's singing. That's, that's him singing. You saying that Stabation uh, st uh, is the singer? Uh, no, Pixel actually uh, Pixel? recorded the vocals. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Rabbit. We got yeah, we got he got. Uh, I can't remember who it was to do a cover of the uh, Mermaider music, and he uh, sang the new lyrics. Sweet, that's awesome. Nice. And, and it would have been even cooler if he was here. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. We, have, we have the I mean, I could just delete the Twitch. Yeah, he popped in and out a couple times, but I guess the voice wasn't working. Oh, that's all right. We had we had the writer. That's all that matters anyway. Uh, so, uh, nevertheless, <laughs> thank you all very much. Great day. Next week, we're doing Street Fighter Six. So, uh, come back for nice. that. Uh, but other than that, uh, uh, you know, everybody have themselves a really good weekend. And, uh, Jeff, take us out of here, man. Uh, left links for the Wizard Stone and the Revenant in the Tomb in the chat, um, as well as a link to subscribe to my website. Uh, I will also be at a small comic convention in Michigan, in Houghton Lake, Michigan, called, I think it's called Superhero Con, on July 1st. So if you're in the Michigan area and you want to buy a book and get it signed, there I will be. So, <laughs> and na namaste. Yeah, yeah. You should save some of your puns for your namastes. <laughs> Later, Okay. <everybody. laughs> I like my... Goodbye. 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 Good night. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs>